I don't care. Me, it's one nil. If we can do it, thirteenth in the championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be. Oh, when when have we got leads? Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show and welcome to the Old Farm Derby Watch Along. It is Norwich City versus Ipswich Town. In, look, look, this is a massive game. A huge game. For all concerned, as a Leeds United fan, I am pure Ipswich... Uh, not Ipswich, correct that. As a Leeds United fan, I'm all Norwich today. As you can see here, the Coleman's Mustard's back out. The last time we watched this, the Coleman Mustard brought us luck. They got a point. More of the same today, please, Norwich. Up the Mustard, up the Coleman's, up the Delia Smith, yeah? We are rolling towards 30k as well, folks. We've passed 28k. Let me just say as well, big shout out to my brother, Jer. Jer also passed 28k. And in the time that he's done it, it's amazing to see. So make sure you go show some love over to my Irish brother, Jer, as well. But we are rolling now towards 30k, okay? So hit the subscribe button. Give the like button a good old smash, okay? Because it massively helps the algorithm. Today, we're locked in until about 6pm, okay? We've got Norwich versus Ipswich. Straight after that, we've got Coventry versus Leeds. Then straight after that, we have your live post-match reaction. Max will be back with us today from Leeds United lately. Uh, Joe, Jack, hopefully Andrea, hopefully Lockie. More will be revealed. But yeah, big up to you all. Thank you all for being here. Let's push for 30k. Um, hopefully we can get it before the end of the season. But listen, it's not too far away. It's not too far away now. We've only got till the 4th of May. May the 4th be with you. We're all on the... Th Finally, we're all on the Fark side. It took us a while, but we're all on the Fark side. It's called El Tractico, not the Old Farm. I mean, it's called the Old Farm Derby, but I like the El Tractico. Uh, I do like that. That's a good one. Um, yeah, Ryan's got Delia's cookbook with a candle lit, hoping for a win. This is a brill name, by the way, isn't it? The El Tractico. I like that. It's football day and just Joe adds the cherry on the cake. Big up. So do you. You all add the cherry on the cake for me as well. Being able to do this uh, is amazing because I enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a dream to make what you, something you enjoy your, you know, your your um, your work. Um, yeah. Big shout out to Mr. Dodo. Ain't, ain't no doubt there. We always have to shout out Mr. Dodo. Um, big up to Norwich City. Obviously, in my yesteryear, I used to play for them. There we go, Mr. Joe Pookie, Pookie Wayman. So hopefully I can channel my inner Pookie today and we can uh, we can, we can, can win. We can win. Norwich can win. Norwich, listen, a win would be huge because if Leeds United beat Coventry, then come on, man, we, we hit top spot. If Leicester win, which I think they will, they'll also move into second. I know people won't want to hear this. And, sorry. I know people will not want to hear this, right? But I'm a little bit nervous about the 3 p.m. I am nervous about 3 p.m. And I almost feel like a draw would be a good result. However, that's not the right mentality to have because we have to win every game from now to the end of the season. But if Ipswich do drop points, then a point away at Coventry, depending on how the game goes, wouldn't be so bad. Do you see what I'm saying? But obviously we need to win. But I'm really nervous about Coventry at 3 p.m. Yeah, I, I, I'm really, really nervous about that. They've got Ellis Sims, one of the most informed strikers in the Leeds. Hadji Wright has one less goal involvement than Gio Rutter. He's actually scored 16 goals as well. Callum O'Hare, who was back on the bench against Cardiff, he's going to be involved. So listen, it ain't going to be easy at free. So we need Norwich to take something today. Because my worry is if we didn't get maximum points, we could find ourselves in third by five o'clock. Because I think I think Leicester will win. Leicester have quite an easy fixture. Uh, I believe they've got Millwall. Yeah, I think they'll win that game. Or it might be Birmingham. Let me just double check. It's one of them. Yeah, it's Birmingham at home. They're going to win that game. You know. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. Big up to Freddie. Thank you for the nose piercing shout, brother. That's good. I, to be honest, as I read that, it was like, I l love your nose picking, which a lot of people think I do because I do this a lot. But I'm not actually picking my nose. I play with this a lot as as I do this. Uh, yeah, t 10 out of 10 swag. Love that, mate. I hope you liked the uh, 
the two pack t shirt. I fell in love with that. I can't lie. I was in Primark the other day, and Primark had a two pack t shirt, and I was like, right, boom. I've had it on my back for about three days, but I, I realized it was starting to smell and thought I better wash it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, big up to my main man, Christopher Spofford Chapel as well. Always gifting the Just Your Football Show with plenty, plenty of memberships. I, I sent you a message on Twitter as well, bro. I don't know if you uh, had a chance to check that, if indeed it is you. But yeah, um, yeah, as Dealey would say, where are you? Where are you? Yeah, Michael says, um, congrats, John, reaching 28K. Lots and lots of hard work and effort, as we've all seen and watched you over the years. Wish nothing but the best for you. I salute you. I salute you as, my, as well, Michael Brown. Thank you for your support. It means a lot, mate. Uh, Davis and Moore starting annoyingly. Yeah, I did see that that Kiefer Moore's back in the lineup. You can see here. So for Norwich, it's Angus Gunn, McCallum at right back, who I thought was pretty gash against Leicester. Leif Davis down that side, um, Broadhead down that side. He's gonna have a tough afternoon. Duffy and Gibson, obviously Sorensen went off injured against Leicester. He doesn't make it, so Duffy's staying at centre back. I do think Jack Stace is a decent player and played well against Leicester. Kenny McLean, we know about. He bossed the game at, uh, for Leeds United in large periods. I do like him. Nunes, uh, Sainz, Gabriel Sara, of course. Ashley Barnes and Josh Sargent. Josh Sargent's got a hell of a lot of goals this season as well. So hopefully he can do something for us. Because he sort of did go missing against Leicester, but he didn't really have any service. But look, the big one the big one is obviously Ipswich and the players that ha they have at their disposal. Twan Zabi at right back. Kladaki in goal, by the way. Good keeper. Burgess and Wolfenden at centre back with Leif Davis at left back. Midfield, Luongo Morsi. Let's hope for, for some guys. They, them two seem to get away with murder, by the way. I don't know what it is. These referees do go easy on, on, uh, on Ipswich because Luongo Morsi, low key, can be quite little dirty, in my opinion. Just my opinion. Uh, behind Kiefer Moore, you've then got Broadhead, Chaplin, and Hutchinson. The mad thing is, Broadhead's used like sporadically in and out, in and out, but he's my favourite of that. In more so than Chaplin. I really like uh, Broadhead, obviously Welsh international as well. But Broadhead, Chaplin and Hutchinson behind Kiefer Moore. Kiefer Moore went off last game out against Southampton, hurt his back, but he starts this game. Um, Kieran McKenna probably knows you've got to play him. You've got to play him. Um, but yeah, let's get to uh, some more of your comments. Um, would a loss to Coventry shock you, Joe? N no. <laughs> No, if I'm honest. They're a very, very good side. Howard, Howard and Eve Worrell Thomas says, chill out, Joe. It's Coventry, not Man City. Mate, they're a good side. Like, I, I am nervous about Coventry. For me, out of the six we've got left, they're the toughest test. If we come through Coventry and we win comfortably, okay, you could never say never, I would back us then to go on and win the rest because Coventry are a good side. Gruev's key. We need Gruev. I think if Gruev starts, if we get the lineup at two, which I'm not too sure he will at the minute, based on what Jamie was telling me earlier, uh, I'll be more confident. If I see Gruev, I'll be like, right, okay, let's go. If not, I'll be worried. I can't lie to you because they've got a good s s side. You know, Gordon, Kitchen at the back, um, O'Hare, uh, Hadji Wright, Ellis Sims, you know, these players. They, the the good thing is Sakamoto, the, Jap the Japanese fella, he, he's not fit. This is good. Um, so, yeah, they're a good side. <laughs> I, I'm not doing no stream, mate. Nah, not till not from midnight till like five a.m. Nah. Plus, it's my weekend for the kids, so yeah, that'll be. Nah, I'm not like wait, like staying up at five. My son gets up at seven. I have an hour in between that. Nah, not a chance. Um, but I will be watching it. I will be watching it. I just won't be won't be streaming it. Um, I have found that when I watched the last um the last premium main event Royal Rumble I watched it in my chair because if I watch it in bed I fall asleep so I will watch it and I will be tweeting and stuff I can't wait for it like I cannot wait for it on YouTube basically on YouTube at the minute as well they've got all the playlists so basically so if you think about the Cody Rhodes Roman Reigns battle they've basically got an hour and 20 minutes worth of how that story unfolded and it starts right back in April 22 when he came back Cody and then it just shows you all the main bits I was just watching this. I watched that. I watched the Drew McIntyre, uh, Seth Rollins one. So if you're stuck for something to do and you want to get excited about it, I watched the kickoff last night as well. But for me, like, I am pumped for WrestleMania. I think wrestling is back at the top where it is. There's a new era. You could call it the Triple H era, whatever you want. But it is phenomenal right now. If you're a wrestling fan, you'll be like me. You'll you'll be lit for it tonight. Um Man United for life says 199 super sticker. Didn't really say it, but always supporting the channel. 
by the way. Big up to you, my brother. Hope you're right. Um, yeah, I want Drew to win as well, Patrick. I want Drew McIntyre to win. To be honest, I'm not sh bothered about... Well, I don't, no, having watched... I do want Cody to win, and I think he will. I think, you know, they've now done the Roman thing, and he's probably, you know... Um, I think he wants to go a bit part-time, maybe start doing some movies and that, as they always tend to do, you know, when they're the head of the company for a bit and then they get to a level where they're just superstardom and then they go do movies, don't they? But I'm convinced that The Rock screws Roman and that then sets up for them next WrestleMania. That's how I think that's going to go. Uh, I have, I have, mate. Yeah. So City versus uh, City versus Palace. Rodri over. Uh, what, Rodri one shot. Joachim Anderson one shot. Uh, Daniel Munez one foul, and over basically one goal for Man City in the first half. Um, five pound gets you twenty seven fifty. Um, then for Norwich chips, which I've got over six corners. Sarah over not point five shots on target. Over one card. Signs over not. Basically, signs one shot, Sergeant one shot, Leaf Davis one shot, and Connor Chaplin two shots. And that's what I've gone for. Yeah. Um, let's have a look. Uh, I'll be there, mate. Get big up to you, DLR Fabrications as well. Always watching whilst working and all that gaff. Absolute legend. He's been on uh, the channel before as well. Big up to you, my man. Um, Bobby says, we're due a very good performance. Yeah, like even away from home, I didn't. I did a bit of research, obviously, yesterday for the preview, if you've watched it. and We've only won one of the last four away from home. Um, lost one against Chelsea and drew the other two. But, you know, that's what... I mean, like I said, draw draw away, win at home. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got that, Stevie. I've got that up now, bro. Thank you for that, mate. Um, the Bulgarian in the Esther. The Bulgarian brute. Is Ali Al Hamidi essential today? He's not started. Um, I did think he would, though. I know, obviously, um, that's why I put him on the graphics. I didn't think Kiefer Moore would start, but 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 he has. Um, what's the shirt? Give us a twelve. This is from the uh, the American section. It's like a it's like a beer, baseball jersey, right? They've there's, they've got some Mitchell and Ness stuff now, but but the price of it is absolutely astronomical. And I refuse to pay. I think this was like 50, right? The basketball jerseys are like 90 pound. Get in the bin. I don't care if it's Mitchell and Ness. Get in the bin. I'm not paying 90 pound for a vest. Because that's what it is. A vest. Um, yeah, Mr. Dodo, this is what I'm saying. It's back. It's back. You know, it is absolutely back. Um, so, yeah, it's it's uh, class. I haven't seen Iron Claw yet, mate. No, I will watch. Um, wrestling is back. Um, yeah, no no one's saying it isn't, but it's still brilliant. I, it, this is also like when they go, you do realise it's not real. Oh, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> we know this. We know this. How about it? Oh, no way. Ash rip no way. You're lying to me. This is like telling me that Father Christmas isn't real. Really? <laughs> Of course, man. But the point is, it is soap opera for men. Like, and for women, of course. Like, it, for me, it's entertainment. That's the point. It's entertainment. Does it entertain me? Yes, it does. Are the storylines boss? Yes. Not on target, Vic. Just one shot. All it takes is a set piece header. Bam. Miles wide. Don't matter. One shot. Um, yeah. Feeling for a draw. Yeah, I think a draw maybe. Uh, um, draw or maybe a Norwich win. Let's hope so. Anything but a. I think it would be, um, yeah, be good. Uh, can see Ipswich winning. Let's all have them slipping up after Monday. Yeah, look, we have to remember, folks, yeah? We have to remember, you know, people say stats, Paco Mac, uh, I hear we had a conversation yesterday in the YouTube comments. People say stats don't matter. Oh, no, Ipswich are too good. There is a reason that Ipswich haven't beaten Norwich in a competitive game for nine Years. This isn't like, oh, stats don't mean... That is something. That's like Leeds United's going to London who do. It was a thing. It was a thing that's... The fan base builds up and then it can easily creep onto the pitch, the nervousness, etc. All that sort of stuff. There is a reason. It's even longer since they beat them at Carroll Road. I believe... I believe it's like 13 years or something since they beat them at Carroll Road. There is a reason for that. Come on now. 
So you can say, oh, blah, 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 blah. You know, um, yep, 100%. 100% they do. Owen Hart died, of course. Uh, no one said that. Uh, are you making things up? Uh, wh- when did I undermine it, Switch? Are you feeling okay? Have you banged your head this morning? I can't see your name, but I-, I-, I don't know what you're hearing, but we have a lot of respect for Ipswich. No one has undermined them. I think you are, you're talking shit, but it is what it is. It's early on Saturday, so maybe maybe you've just woke up or something, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't mind the darts, bro. Only the big big games, though. I'm not like it. I don't watch it religiously. It is what it is. Um, I do need to watch it. Definitely do. Um, yeah, um, I'm... And I'm but I'm watching the game for a buddy. Any history between the teams one should know before watching their first Norwich game? Well, this is the Old Farm Derby Jet. Jet. I don't know what Ami means. I, I'm an Ami. What does that mean? Explain. But this is a big derby, the Old Farm Derby, or as we were told earlier, the El Tractico. Um But yeah, um, the history is on is on Norwich's side. As I say, it's been like 13 years since Ipswich have beaten at Carroll Road. It's like nine years since they've been in, in any competitive game. So, yeah, exactly, Kelvin. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a revelation. It is theatre, as Van says. There you go. It is theatre. Um, there you go. Your dad loved it. There you go. Um, James, what a great point. Yeah. It's almost like saying that, that movies are real. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Andrew's gone for 3-1. Um, you haven't missed anything, Rysel. There hasn't actually been anything of note happening on the Leeds United space. We were hoping we might hear about Gruev. We haven't. So, um, there you go. Oh, it's 15 years. There you go, William Miller. They haven't beat them at, it, at Carroll Road for 15 years. 15 years is insane. Um... People are telling me, no, not 14, it's 15. There you go, 15 years. And people want to say, ah, that don't mean nothing. Well, it clearly does, because 15 years is a fecking long time. There's people in the chat that that'll be over half their life. Do you know what I mean? So come on, up the Canaries, up the Colmans. There we go. If, if, if Norwich win by two clear goals, if Norwich win by two clear goals, I'll down some of that. I'm not going to make it easy and say if they get a result, because I can't. But if they win, if they win by two clear goals, I will down some of that. Um, Ami is American. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. There you go. Um, Josh Sargent then, yeah? You, you're backing Josh Sargent. Let's, let's hope so. Let's get the party started. There we go. Here he is. See, this is the point, though, Paco Mac. We were having this... Why are they delusional when 15 years of history tells you otherwise? That's not delusional. I don't understand. You do realise Norwich are six in the league as well. They're not mugs. They are a good side. And I'm also going to star this, right, just to make you aware. And if the Ipswich win comfortably and we're all deluded, then you can come back at me. But I'm going to star that. Because if Norwich win, you will be reminded. Just putting you on notice, my brother. Um, here we go. Christopher Spofford Chapel, big up to my man. He's just gifted 50. Yes, 50. Just your football show memberships. I think if my calculations are right now, that's nearly 250. I think in total, the guy's an absolute legend. Um, Howard, potentially, like, they've still got to play Coventry. Not an easy game. Coventry have to play us, Southampton and Ipswich. Uh, do they have to play Leicester? No, they don't, do they? I'm going to tell you now the rest of their fixtures. One sec. But this is, of course, their easiest. Uh, their toughest, sorry, not their easiest. This is their toughest. Um, Ipswich have got Norwich to play. Watford at home. Middlesbrough at home. Hull away, which won't be easy. Coventry away, which won't be easy. And then finish the season at home to Huddersfield so yeah I mean look after this two home games then two tough away games so we'll see we'll see um what shirt needs burning which one this one okay no worries um I mean it doesn't it looks cool but there you go um yeah Jetman Christopher Spofford Chapel is the Donny uh let's make it 16 years yeah man yeah man um 
Yeah, different Ipswich side this year, but Tony, they've also played them this year, and guess what? They didn't feck and beat them. <laughs> and Norwich weren't the same Norwich that you see now, who were sixth. So, yeah, different Ipswich, but they still haven't beat them in the game they've played. You know what I mean? He is, man, he is. Him, Andy Peacock as well. Um, there you go, Harry says 15 years is my whole lifetime. There you go. Um, yeah, anyone who's got a membership, big, make sure you shout out. Um, make sure you shout out Christopher Spofford Chapel. Um, yeah, if you are here, please do like and subscribe. Yeah, please do. As I said, we are rolling towards thirty k. Thirty k is the target before the end of the year. Hit that subscribe button. Give the like button a good old smash. Massively helps the algorithm. We're sat on 191 already. There's nearly 700 people here. Let's see if we can get that to 250 ASAP. So keep keep smashing it. Keep smashing the likes. Um, Norwich were two of our hardest games. Yeah, I, I would argue Hull was the other day. But yeah, um, they were also up there. You're right. Um, yeah, definitely. First time we've me made the FA Youth Cup final since like 1997, I believe. And only the third time in our history. Did you see uh, Harry Gray got called up to the England under-16s as well? I cannot wait to see Harry Gray play for Leeds United, genuinely, just based on what I've heard. Christopher Spofford Chapel, our resident, just your billionaire. He is, isn't he? He definitely is. <laughs> um, there you go. Jimmy says, look, I've got a feeling that run will end. And it will, it will eventually, right? It will eventually. And today might be the day. To be honest, mate, mine, and I, I don't know, people will... I don't think people like the... It's Triple H for me. Which is mad, I know, because there are much better out there, but I just think Triple H was just a constant. Triple H is the game, without being corny. Like, look at him, he's married to the game. Like, the others come and go. Obviously, The Rock, amazing. Stone Cold, amazing. I mean, Stone Cold was also wedded to the game, but his injuries and all that sort of stuff. But Triple H just never left. And I, I think of all the factions Triple H was in and how funny he was in DX and The Click and then, obviously, Evolution. And then even when he was still, you know, getting involved with it, when he was, like, with Ro Seth Rollins and Randy and... Yeah, I'd, I'd, for me, Triple H is up there. And I know a lot of people won't, won't agree with that, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> Texas Leeds, yeah, man. Well, this is what I'm saying. I hear it, um, but what a legend he is. Um, Darren, it's not like you to be negative, my man, but, yeah, it's not like you at all. Um, <laughs> is it, bro? Is it, Darren? Um and that's the bottom line, because just Joe said so. <laughs> has any of you ever seen? Has any of you ever seen the the meme of the guy doing the runouts to to the entrance? So you just like John Cena, Stone Cold. Um, he does them all, and they're brilliant, man. They're absolutely brilliant. He does Randy Orton and. Just all like one after the one. It's like a I seen it on Instagram, Instagram Reels. So good. So good. Um Different leads we should beat Kov. I don't know, Louis. This is what I mean, Louis. So this is where I'll say so so like all we, Louis, you're quite negative. I think you'll admit that. Maybe not negative. You might call yourself a realist, right? And I'm not digging you out here, but you do maybe look at glass half full. But then when you come up against the tough teams, it's like you put in for me almost um Yeah. They're a very good side, Coventry. Let's not... Yeah. Um, I think in any other time, Barney, I would. Today, I can't be. But but if Norwich took points from Ipswich, I'd also be okay with it. Which I know people will... But I can't have that mindset. I'm, I'm aware of this fact, but it is what it is. Morsi never gets cards, man. Yeah, man. He never does. Um, there we go. I got a membership without being on, but I'm subscribed. Thank you, God. Big up to you, man. Um, you're a legend, Christopher. Honestly, mate, you're a legend. Honestly, it means the the world. Honestly, you would not understand. 27 years, not 1997. That's where, yeah, yeah. Big up to, big up to you, my man. Um, thank you for that. Undertaker's up there, yeah. For Yeah. I'm a sexy boy. Sexy boy. 
Um, Seamus. <laughs> My name's Seamus, and I love to fight. That is wrong. That is wrong, because that's Finlay. So I don't even know where I got that from. <laughs> love that. Love that. Anyway, when Elliot kick off that. For the millions in attendance. And mi sorry, for the thousands in attendance. And the millions watching at home. <laughs> we got who was higher. Saka. Yeah, man. Honestly, Mania is going to be lit tonight. I cannot wait. Right, come on, the Canaries. Um, come on to the Canaries. Up the gingers. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Louis, because it... Okay, right. So... But my observation is that I tend to be more positive than you when it comes to your opinions. Do you know what I mean? You might say I'm a happy clapper or something. Like, you're... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I don't want to get in... But you are... You are more negative than me then, let's say. I'm not saying you're a negative person, but are you more negative than me, you would say? <laughs> I think so. Anyway, they're walking onto the pitch. We know, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, we will be there. They're just Joe Leeds, you know. Well, yeah, I have quite a lot, mate. I can't lie to you. Um, Joe makes a good dink, the clown. Yeah. Big up, Johnny. Dirty budgies. <laughs> um, yeah, just, mate. On there. Um, you're always positive to your own club, just not as rover on fans. Is that is, is that used down now, by the way, as well? Because I know you lost yesterday. Um, is that you down? I'm not sure. Big up to all the Ipswich fans in the chat as well. Norwich fans, if you're here. Leeds fans, of course. Um, <laughs> yes, but Joe's more positive than 110% of Leeds. Impossible, I know, but we love you for me. Oh, big up to you, mate. That's legend status. Yeah, lucky, gone, down, oh, gutted. We'll have to do, like, a little, you know, goodbye message for uh, for Matt on Thursday, won't we, on the White Rose Rivals. Mum's doing better, Shawnee boy, she's home now, safe and sound. Right, let's get the, um, get ready for the timer. I have got City versus Palace on as well on my split, split screen, so we can um, we can just keep tabs on any goals going in there. Surprise, Foden didn't start, don't have him in my fantasy team, so I'm actually buzzing because he cost me points. There, we're underway anyway. Norwich have got us started, folks. Um, we've gone straight on the attack, to be fair. Big up Norwich. Sarah, out wide here to Saints. Saints has a run at Twan Zabi. Twan Saints, cross, corner ball. <laughs> up the Canaries! Up the Hol Colmans, yeah? Up the Colmans. Let me know if you can hear the sound as well. Um... But yeah, great start for Norwich straight away on the on the offensive. No messing about. They're at home, you know. They're going to take the game two, two Ipswich. So let's have it. Um, it's going to be a, a a corner ball, and in it comes. Oh, it's headed out. Shot. Oh, signed to won the corner, then gets his shot off as well, uh, and his shot's pretty poor. I can't lie to you, but it, it did fall to him uh, on the edge. I mean, to be fair, it's good defending from uh, Chaplin and Hutchinson. They get out to him quick to prevent um, to prevent him getting a decent clean strike, and it goes over. So there you go. But it will be a goal kick to Ipswich Town, up the Canaries today. Up it goes long to Kiefer Moore. He heads it, but it's cleared by Gibson. Oh, decent from Sarah. We need Sarah to be on it today. I didn't think he was great last time out against Leicester, but... I think Norwich were rubbish, if I'm honest. I don't know if um, Wagner got the setup right for me personally. Be different today though, because as I said, they're at home, um, so they should they should fancy themselves. Um, let me check the chat. Hopefully, you can't hear anything. Uh, sound great? Yeah, all good, all good. Um, the ball went so high, I thought it was Rutter. Says Steve, love that. <laughs> uh, here's Axel Twanzebi into Chaplin, Amari Hutchinson. Has to go back there to Wolfenden. As I say, Norwich will get chances in this game because um, Ipswich are not, not the best side defensively. He has a chance for Leif Davis. Cross goes. Jack Stacey brings him down and that'll probably be a throw-in to Norwich. It is. Referees give it 
to uh, to Norwich. So it's a it's a it's a throw into Norwich. Remember straight after this as well, Leeds United. We will get the lineup at two o'clock for Leeds. Hopefully, Gruev starts. You better not kill the Gruev and all that jazz. Big throw. Sent all the way up to Sargent, but it's flicked forward from Burgess. And Kiefer Moore, who's onside, is going to chase it. He's joined there by Jack Stacey. There's Leif Davis. You need to watch Leif because he will just look for an extra yard and look to get the ball in. And he's going to have an opportunity here after a 1-2. Cross comes in. Chaplin, smallest man on the pitch, can't win the ball. And McConnell heads it. And here is Sarah. Sarah, nice Ball there into Barnes. Barnes brought down, though, but no free kick given. Of course, it isn't. Morsi Hutchinson, chance for Ipswich. He's in against McCallum. Hutchinson tries to pop it up. It's crossed. Headed out, though, and here's Sainz. Sainz has a chance to clear. Instead, decides to carry the ball out, and he's done really, really well. And that's a free kick on halfway. Sargent cannot believe it. Says he has been brought down. Crystal Palace are one up. Oh, my God. Crystal Palace are one up. There you go, Crystal Palace beating Manchester City within a couple of minutes. Mateta with the goal as well. He's a chance for Hutchinson for Ipswich. It's another corner though. Corner ball this time for Ipswich. One apiece on the corner front. Crystal Palace are 1-0 up, folks, uh, against um, against Manchester City. And uh, it's a route one ball. Great pass, actually. I think it's Will Hughes, is it? Um, there's the chance, and it's terrible goalkeeping, to be honest. It's a great finish. It is a great finish, indeed. Right, corner ball to Ipswich. Leif Davis to take, goes short to Amari Hutchinson. Hutchinson there back to Morsi. Morsi puts one in, back post, headed though by Gibson. And it's another corner, I believe. Oh, no, it's been given as a free kick, I think. There you go, Crystal Palace won up against Manchester City. I still think Manchester City will win, don't you, right? You know what I mean? Goal kick, then. And Angus Gunn. Gives it to Gibson. Cross goes more. Gibson, great ball up that. Here's Kenny McLean. McLean. Come on, there's Sarah. Back to McLean. Come on, the Canaries. Kenny McLean. Can he find a pass? He's going to dig it all out looking for Sainz. Sainz brings it down. He's onside as well. Chance to run it. Twan Zabi. Goes though there. Go on, Mc Go on, McLean. Kenny McLean. Ah, it's not a bad cross, actually, but it's gone straight out for a throw, folks. Leave Davis brought down there, people. Paco Mac going 3 1 City, uh, probably. Let's get the 400 likes up. Yeah, please do. We've got 311. Let's get there, folks, if we can. Never be lonely again. Uh -huh. So tell me how it feels to know. Anyway, please do smash a like on the video. The We're back underway. Leif Davis now with the ball. Oh, it's a big challenge. Big challenge. Nunes on uh, Luongo to uh, South Americans, I believe. It's actually on Broadhead. My bad. Do you know what? I did not know that Dean Henderson was at Crystal Palace. How did I not know this fact? I thought he was still at Forest. That's wild, isn't it? How long has he been there? All season. <laughs> How did I not know that? McCallum with the throw. Gibson, loads of space. Pass him the ball. Give it Stacey. You've allowed Chaplin to get across, man. Here's Stacey. Crossing the box. That's piss poor. Should have given it him much sooner because uh, Broadhead, sorry, got across and Stacey had nowhere near as much time there. And Kiefer Moore's kept it in brilliantly there for... For Ipswich, he's looked to switch the ball, the ball, but the switch is poor, and it'll be a throw-in. <laughs> this is a good point, man. <laughs> uh, that's mad. Oh, he's been injured. There you go. Thank you for that, Ethan, mate. It's a throw-in for Norwich. Shocking pass by Kiefer Moore. McCallum with the throw. 
Wolfenden sends it forward. Good header by Duffy there. And again by Sarah. Chance. Well done, McLean. McLean out to Jack Stacey. Does have a bit of space to run into. Jack Stacey's cross is so poor. It goes straight to the keeper. I don't know what he's tried there. Proper slicer. Uh, don't forget to smash the likes, folks. One away from 350. Let's get over 1,000 live viewers if we can, my Gs. That would be great if you could do that for me. So tell me how I know. Sorry, I've got that song in my head. Been listening to Jax Jones all morning. And Sophia Lispector for that matter. You better not kill the Gruev. Right, here goes Luongo from deep. Into Chaplin. Chaplin touch out of his feet. Oh, well battled there from Josh Sargent. And he's Nunes carrying the ball. Nunes still got it. Referee blows his whistle and gives it Ipswich way. Not sure what for, to be honest. Six or one, half a dozen of the other, if you ask me, but there you go. Don't forget to check out football prizes as well, folks. They've got some great prizes on offer this week. Huge Leeds United competition as well. Uh, you can actually get two times hospitality tickets for Sunderland and for Blackburn. We'll touch on more in that, obviously, during the Leeds game, but Great prize, £4.95, obviously, coming to the end of the season. So, rounding up all the prizes and offering you folks loads of deals and stuff. So, make sure you check it out. There you can see so many good prizes um, for for that. Here's a chance, though. It's three on four. Three what, yellow shirts. Chance, Stacey. I mean, it's a good cross, but there's no one there. There is literally no head there at all. So, um, yeah, not, not the best in the end. Uh, not the best. Stacey, yeah, he's just put it across goal. No one was there at all ready to, to attack it. Could see what he was trying to do, but there you go. Anyway, here is uh, Wolfenden, or Burgess, sorry, should I say. He's looked for Kiefer Moore. That's probably a push in the back. Referee says no. McCallum heads it back goalwards. Here's Josh Sargent. Sargent for Norwich. Goes out wide to Sarah. Sarah looks to cross one in. It's a good cross, but it's headed out by Wolfenden. I tell you what, that wasn't a bad little whip on that. Here's Kenny McLean. McCallum, McCallum goes looking for signs, but it's well defended by Amari Hutchinson, but it will be a throw-in to Norwich in the final third. Up the Norwich, up the Canaries. Come on. They're playing well, and they're on top for me. They're on top for me, so let's go. Here's Gibson. Good start. Obviously, Ipswich will have their moments, but... You can tell that Norwich are the home side, you know. They are the home side. They are dominating possession. Totally different Norwich to what we've seen away at Leicester, for example. So, come on. Ball into Sarah. It's gifted away, though. Stacey's had a shocking start, you know. And it's another foul. Sarah's complaining at Stacey there. And he had to bring Luongo down. But it's not a good ball at all from Stacey. Stacey's started a bit shaky. I thought he was good against Leicester. But he's not looking good right now. I can't lie. Sit down, clean Irish shot. I don't know. Are you on the beers again? Are you on the beers again, CR81? Because I don't know what that means, man. <laughs> CR81's on, on the juice again, folks. Big up to you, though. Right, it's uh, Leif Davis to put this set piece in. We know he's got a wicked delivery. Burgess and Wolfenden have both gone up there. You're looking at Kiefer Moore as well for any knockdowns. Um, so let's wait and see how this delivery goes. So you've got Leif Davis to whip it in. It's a decent area as well. In it comes. Headed out, though. Well done. And it'll be a throw in, though, to um, throw in to Ipswich. Kenny McLean, it was, with the clearance. Ten minutes played. <laughs> throw in Leif Davis. Big throw in coming. Ashley Barnes there, telling him where he wants everyone, obviously. Ashley Barnes is the, the shit house that's that's up for this kind of fixture, isn't he? In it comes. Ashley Barnes deals with it, actually. Right, sorry, it's Jack Stacey. Jack Stacey clearance upfield for Josh Sargent to chase. And Wolford then just has to head it into touch. So it'll be a throw-in 
just on halfway to Norwich City. And Jack Stacey's going to come across to take the throw. I've got 388 likes. Smash the likes up, folks. Let's get that to 400 likes. Get 1,000 live viewers. Throwing taken. Jack Stacey with a lovely little ball to Sarah, but it looks like Wolfenden will get across. He will, but he's put it out for another throw to Norwich, and this time it's right near the corner flag. That was a nice little ball from Stacey looking for the run. I think it was Sarah. It may have been Nunes. Um, I'm not as close to the action because of the split screen, so... Um, yeah, Leif Davis out of position there. Obviously, the majority of his touches come in, come in the final third. That's something that will uh, change in the... Oh, what a goal by Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, my God. Dropped during the week. Rested even. But when you see that De Bruyne shot, that is a thing of beauty. Wow. Top bins. Wraps his foot round it. Great goal by Kevin De Bruyne. Dean Henderson, no chance. No keeper, any chance. If you get a chance to go and flick over and watch that now and just go check that out because that is an absolute beauty. Um, I think Jack Grealish with the assist. Look at this finish, man. Bang. Oh, postage stamp. Like this. This is the top corner right in the centre. What a finish. Check that out. Pick that one out. Yeah, yeah. That is some finish by Kevin De Bruyne. You don't get much better than that. Please go watch that. Even Guardiola was like, what a finish by Kevin De Bruyne on 13 minutes. Paco Max shout for free one. He's on. Uh, back to the Norwich game now, though. Uh, that's piss poor. It's kept in, though, by signs. Well done. McCallum on halfway for Norwich. Genuinely, man. I think Kevin De Bruyne, people were saying, listen, I watch a lot of content. They were saying it's time now for Fordham to take over De Bruyne and all this sort of shit. And De Bruyne's gone. Tranquillo, please. Tranquillo. I'm still here, is what he's just said with that finish. What a strike. Here is Gibson for Norwich. Gives it to, I think it's Nunes. Yeah, Nunes dropping in between the centre-backs. Duffy, uh, Duffy and Gibson really spread out wide there, the centre-backs. Ball out wide to McCallum. McCallum's starting to push up field as well, which shows sort of like Norwich's dominance. The fact that you've got the centre backs splitting as much and the full backs playing as high as they are, they can see just how much. Look, there's loads of space again here for McCallum. Ball down the line for Sainz. I think it'd have been offside anyway, but the ball was shite in all told. Uh, foul that by Kenny McLean. Advantage given though, there's another foul though by Nunes on Broadhead, so it'll be a free kick this time uh, to, uh, to Ipswich, but I would say Norwich on top, first 15 minutes. Nice to see more of the same. Uh, let's smash the likes up, folks. We've got 413. Get them likes smash for me. Um, it's free kick that's been taken by Luongo into Wolfenden, and then he goes across to Burgess. Crystal Palace won, Man City won as well. De Bruyne gets City back equal with an absolute wonder strike. Norwich nil, Ipswich nil. And here is uh, Ben Gibson on the ball now for Norwich. And he's got Duffy available. I tell you what, them training tops of Ipswich. Oh, what's Gunn doing there? That's a bit of a hospital pass, but Nunes has, has done well with it and found McCallum. None of that, please, Gunn. He played it into Nunes, but they were on him like a shot. But that's a lovely ball by McCallum here. And here's Kenny McLean. Watch the run. Watch the run. Oh, what a challenge that is. I thought Sainz was the pick out, but the block's really, really good. As, the, as he releases the ball, the block's... The block's really good. Um, that was a big chance, that, for Norwich. It looked like it opened up for them. But Norwich are going to come on top. They're on top here, look. Ipswich uh, camped in their own half. Sarah tries a ball to get Sainz in behind. Twanzebi lets it run. Ladaki keeps it in. Ipswich now have possession of the football. But really good start. Oh, oh, I need to put my charge on. Sorry, folks. I'm on less than 20% battery. We don't want that. <laughs> Don't want it going off. Do you remember when I had a power cut the other day as well? That was wild, wasn't it? Uh, 990 people watching. 10 more for a 1,000. Smash a like on the video for me, folks. Um, here's Twan Zabi. Oh, it's decent, that, from Hutchinson. And here's a chance here for Luongo from deep. He's waiting for Hutchinson to come on the overlap. He's now got it as Hutchinson. Hutchinson has a chance. He's in the box. This could be the first real opportunity but it's well defended there by Nunes and Sainz tries to get round Twan Zabi. Twan Zabi brought him down. No, no free kick. But Luongo's pass is really, really poor and that will go for a goal kick. 
thousand people watching, big up to you all. Um, no worries, Lord D, good to see you. Um, Steve Sky Blue says, come on, Ipswich. Sorry, Leeds, we need him to win. Play up, you Sky Blues, yeah. Looking good for your taste, Budge Joe. Yeah, it is, man. It is. They've played well. I'm hearing Gruyev is starting today. Okay, it's just the voices in my head. <laughs> Sarah brought down for a foul by Luongo. Has the ref given anything? Wagner's clapping away, though. He's happy, he's happy. Shot. Oh Well, for our City bet, Vic, we only need now the Joachim Anderson shot. Uh, Munez has fouled. There's been over one goal for City. Rodri's had a shot. So we just need Joachim Anderson. Um for the for the Norwich chips which signs has had over a shot, so so we're looking good on that still for, yeah. Shots can when they're not on target, they happen all the time, don't they? So here's the one go chance here. Amari Hutchinson for Ipswich. Twan Zabi on the overlap, gives it to Twan Zabi. Sainz has got the pace though to stop him from the cross. Well done, Sainz goes back to Hutchinson. Morsi there wants the ball, but Hutchinson's found a bit of space of his own. Carries the ball. Here's Morsi. Oh, Haaland, what a save by Dean Henderson. Haaland put through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Dean Henderson made an absolutely fantastic save. You're expecting Haaland to find the back of the net there. I can't lie to you. Disappointed he hasn't as well because he's in my fantasy team. Um, so, yeah. Um, corner ball, though, to City. 20 minutes in, in the Norwich Ipswich game. Here is Twan Zabi. Don't forget to smash those like, folks. 464. How's Haaland missed that? He expecting him to score. It's quite an easy save for Henderson, actually, considering his uh, his goal scorer in prowess. Good save. Here's Twanzebi for Ipswich. Foul by Barnes on halfway. It'll be a free kick. I'll never be lonely again. On the water now, folks. Just needed the one to kick me up the arse. Burgess switches the play out. Here's Amari Hutchinson. The bounce does him, though, and it'll be throwing to Norwich. How's the temperature, Leeds fans? Because I'm feeling quite confident the way this game's gone so far. 46% of you think Norwich will win the game. We'll do a poll at half-time as well um, to see. Um, how's how's everyone how's everyone thinking? Have I just seen Saka overrated and Foden overrated? Bamford for president says Bellingham overrated. Come on now, don't be silly. Don't make silly claims. McKenna probably wins manager of the season. Dunny, they're just showing there the three nominees. I still don't get that Liam Rossini shout. Really don't. I think everyone's surprised by it, in all honesty. Here's Morsi to Burgess. Now, Ipswich playing a little bit further upfield. Centre-back's on halfway. Burgess goes back to his keeper, Hladaki. Hladaki is pretty apt with his feet, to be fair. Good goalkeeper. He's looking to put it out to the left for Davis, and Davis... Is going to get there. Good challenge in the end by Duffy. And I think it's going to be a corner ball potentially to uh, to Ipswich. Yeah, I think it will be. Corner ball, Ipswich. It was Jack Stacey, my bad folks. I'll never be lonely again. Corner ball, then Leaf Davis to take. Same heads it'll be aiming at. Kiefer Moore, Burgess, Wolfenden, Twan Zabie. Please don't concede from a corner, though. Like, don't concede from a corner. It's too simple. Leaf, Leaf Davis is respotting it. Here we go. Leaf Davis to whip this in. There it comes. Headed. Goalward. Poor header, though. Way over. Bird just got on the end of it, and it'll be a goal kick to Norwich City. Poor header, really. He's pretty free as well, to be fair. No one followed his run, so he should have probably done better. 
Gunt, not the best kick out that. McCallum keeps it in for Norwich, but proper put. Well, that's a foul by Chaplin. Chaplin just jumped into uh, signs there, I think, or it might have been Nunes. Last five minutes, though, Ipswich have had 78% possession, folks. As I was saying, definitely uh, coming into it for sure. I think Gruev makes the squad, folks. I think Gruev makes the squad just because my guy, FPL23, who I do know gets in for, trust and believe, you might not believe, but trust, he's just tweeted, get into the groove. Get into the groove. So that tells me Ilya Gruev is involved. I'm going to drop him a message now, see what he's saying. He does get a lot of information early when it comes to uh, to fantasy and stuff, trust me. With the lineup, so yeah, um, we shall wait and see, but that is really good news for Leeds United. If indeed that is true, I'll let you know what he says when he comes back to me. Um, chance for Norwich down the line, but it's well defended and it's a foul given. There's been a lot of fouls, right? There's been a lot of fouls. I'm surprised no card yet. We did say over one card. Still non given, so have to wait and see um, how that evolves. But um, listen, I'm happy with the game so far. I'm happy with the game so far. As a Leeds United fan watching this, I'm thinking, okay, Norwich have got something for us today. They're competitive. They're competitive. Here's Burgess to leave Davis. Lee Davis just on halfway. Plays it into Kiefer Moore. Kiefer Moore pull pass. Tries to give it to Broadhead. Goes out for a Norwich throw. Just coming up to the 25th minute. Still nil-nil Norwich hip switch. Crystal Palace won. Man City won as well, folks. Uh, for anyone who is keeping an eye on that one. Kevin De Bruyne with a wonder strike after Mateta put um, Crystal Palace in front after about four minutes. That's put out of play by Burgess, and it'll be a throw just in the final third for Ipswich. Dece uh, for Norwich, sorry. Decent place for them to, to get one whipped in here. Do, 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 do. Throw in. Nunes brings it down. Goes there to Gibson, working it from right to left. Here's McCallum. Good challenge by Amari Hutchinson, but Sainz takes it off him. I've been impressed with Sainz the last few times I've seen him play, to be fair. He's decent. I mean, he's no Somerville on the left-hand side, of course, but he's decent. Stacey tries to lift it forward for Sargent to take. Sargent yet really to be involved in the game. Sarah tracking Luongo. Sent down the line from Burgess, brought down by... Stacey, his touch is terrible though, and it will go for a for, for, for throw into Ipswich. Smash the likes as well, folks. 499. Just one more for 500. Get that done for me, please. As this message says as well, we're rolling towards 30k. 30k before the end of the season is the dream. Can we make the dream a reality before pr promotion to the Premier League? At which point, hopefully, the channel goes ba boom. So hit the subscribe button. Give the like button a good old smash, folks. Big up to my man, Jer, who also hit 28k recently as well. Um, he has Leif Davis back with Burgess. Both games have been quite enjoyable. I can't lie to you. I love this split screen. Big up Stevie Visuals. If you want hooking up, he's in the chat. Hook up. Norwich now have possession of the football and have done for the last five minutes. Ipswich had a little run, but now Norwich again. It's 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 ebbed and flowed, really, to be fair. I've enjoyed the game of football thus far. Let me know your thoughts in the chat. How do you see it going? McCallum, lovely pass into midfield. That There's Sargent. Sargent having to drop deep to link the play, but that was a lovely ball by McCallum. Um, disguise pass into Sargent that caught everyone unaware. Uh, here's Sarah. Sarah with a nice ball into McLean. But I think it should have been left. I think the ball should have been left for Sargent. He's, he's, he's won a free kick, though. It's a foul from Morsi. No card. Never gets a card. Um, but um, Sargent's had a go at him, like, saying, leave it. But I think McLean said, well, you didn't, I didn't hear you. But you could see that's where the pass was originally aimed for. McLean gets there. At least he's won a free kick. But I think the pass should have gone into to, uh, Josh Sargent. But it's a decent area for a free kick, this. 
Sarah and Nunez over it. Corner ball for City as well, by the way, folks. Coming up to the 30th minute. Grealish has hurt his knee. This is not good because they need him. Uh, because Grealish offers, gives City so much control. So much control down that left-hand side. Ward's taking him down. He looks like he's hurt his knee, you know. Um, not the best area for a free kick. It's like a wonder strike from here, I think. Ooh, you can see there. Grealish's leg jar. He's up, though. He's got enough calves for, I reckon, all thousand of you in the chat. He's calves for days. I reckon he just does calf raises all week. What do you reckon? Because they're massive. Anyway, free kick for Norwich City. Sarah's uh, Nunez over it. Sarah! <sighs> Shite shot, really, wasn't it? Shite shot. Yeah. Could have done with it on target, you know, for my bet, mate. It's fucking going left and left and left, that. What's he doing? Got to have a go. It's not the best. It wasn't the best area for a shot, though. It was almost too central for me to trouble the goalkeeper. Free kick given for a foul on Chaplin. Chaplin not really been involved as of yet. Obviously, a very good player. Um, he's just backed into McLean, and McLean's gone in. And it is a free kick. Do, 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 do. Here's Wolfenden for Ipswich. Goes into Twanzebe. Twanzebe there to Hutchinson. There's a lot of pressure on um, on Burgess there. He's done well, like Wolfenden. They've they've made sure that pass didn't go in. However, Stacey's o no Duffy's overcommitted and Broadhead's got round him too easily. Duffy has to get back. Great challenge. Great challenge, Kenny McLean. Ball, he's in. Josh Sargent's in. Twan Zabie's coming across. He showed too much of it. Oh, you've got to do better there, Joshua Sargent. It's not a free kick. Twan Zabie picked your pocket, mate. Terrible. Oh, have they given a free kick? Hang on, they have. That's not a free kick. I didn't think it was. He's been given a free kick. They're saying last man, they want him off. What's the referee's decision? Is it a red card? Was he last man? What's going on? I didn't think it was a free kick, you know. Sergeant should, should do better. Let's have a look. It's a great pass, by the way. Sergeant's getting away. I think it's a good challenge, no? I'd have to see it slowed down. Does he connect with the ball? Let's have a look. Great pass, by the way, from Ashley Barnes. Mm, maybe it is a free kick. They're saying off because it's last man, in effect. He's onside as well. He is onside. Twan Zabie's playing him on. That is last man, no? Should he be off? I mean, he's probably not going to get it, but... Oh, it is a foul. Is it? I don't know. I, I'm undecided, folks. I'm undecided. What's... Are we getting a card at all, though? He's going to get a yellow, folks. I think maybe he's saying that Wolfenden would have got round on the cover. Axel Twanzebe with a yellow card, folks. It, uh, Norwich fans would have wanted him off. I'd have loved to see him go off. Not least because he's ex-Manchester United, but it would weaken uh, Ipswich in this tie and for the future games as well. Three match ban for a straight red, of course. Um, and only six, seven games left, so I think six, isn't it? Or five after this for Ipswich. Wow, there's only five games left after this round. Insane peeps. Oscar Bob, naughty skills. Good challenge. This is a area, this is more an area where Sarah or Nunes can bend one in. This is more exciting. Come on, Norwich. Sarah, please be Sarah. Just whip this top bins. Nunes or Sarah. Pick your poison. I'm saying Sarah. Left foot, bang, top bins. Come on. Up, Sarah. Up the Canaries. Up the Colmans. Come on. At least get it on target for me, bet. Right. The wall's been set. I think Nunes is going to hit it, actually. Looking at the way they've set up this wall, maybe I'm wrong. Got Nunes and Sarah over it. Nunes. Ah, it's terrible in the end. It's gone for a corner, though. It's come off the wall. I've got a hair on my ear. That's how you know you're getting old, folks. I can feel the hair on my ear. 
genuinely, this is when you know you are getting old, when you start to sprout hairs from your ear globes. What is going on? Right, Sarah with the corner. Who's in there to hear Matt Barnes? He's definitely one. He's pretty decent in the air. There's a few on the edge, you know. McCallum, Sainz. They're all waiting on the edge. Ben Gibson's got the height advantage over Luongo. Right, here we go. Duffy as well, one to aim at. Twan Zabie's got hold of him. And it comes Sarah. What a oh, that was a shite ball, man. I've it's a shite ball. They've tried to pre-work routine, haven't they, like they did against Leicester. Obviously, it came off. Sorry, I'm trying to pick this fucking hair off me here. I'd love to set it alight, but I don't fancy setting it alight on stream just in case I burnt me to a uh, beard. You know what I mean? 33 minutes on the clock, though. Norwich playing well. Here's Ben Gibson. Out to McCallum. I was hoping something was going to come out of that little passage of play, that little pressure they had on top there, but wasn't to be. But Norwich have played well for me in this uh, first 33 minutes. Look, good value for at least a point. Nice. Uh, Sarah does get there. Leaf Davis does make a challenge, and it will be a throw into Norwich. Throw into Cump. Stacey's gone back for it. Oh, look at that. 17 goals from crosses, 15 from headers for, for Norwich. So set piece is definitely something they, they work on. Andy Hughes, obviously, they celebrated with him after that goal against Leicester, so he must be their, their set piece guy, maybe. Uh, Jack Stacey with the throw. Stacey. Could turn Sergeant another free kick. Sergeant's done well there against Burgess, just backed into him, drew the foul, wins another, another set, uh, another free kick, another set piece, and it's in an area where we can look to cross, where Norwich can look to whip the ball in, and win them headers. Most goals scored from headers in the league, so let's have some of that, please. Ben Gibson, Shane Duffy, Ashley Barnes, of course, ones to aim at. There's Duffy having a little word there with Sarah, probably saying to him, listen, get it across that front, man. I'm going to win it. Bang. In the back of the net, up the Canaries. Let's have it. Uh, nearly 1,200 people watching. Please smash a like on the video if you haven't already. It massively helps the channel. Sarah and Nunez off it. I'm thinking Sarah. Outswinger, or do we go in swinger with... Uh, with uh, sorry, other way around. Outswinger with Nunez, or do we go in swinger with, with Sarah? It's a lottery, isn't it? It's a lottery. Win your header, then, then it's anybody's. Let's have a look. Decent area, this. Sarah is going to be the one to whip. Oh, it's headed out, though. I think by Chaplin. Or Luongo, maybe. One of the smallest men on pitch. Luongo, the header. It's another corner, though. <coughs> Come on, Norwich. Another corner. Definite area of uh, the game that Norwich clearly work on. Sarah's going to be the one to take it. McLean's trying to find space. As is Duffy. It's headed out, though, by Kiefer Moore. Only as far as McLean. He's Sarah again. This time he shapes. Great passing. Cut back, please. Oh, it's another corner. Kiefer Moore with a vital block there. Kenny McLean picked it up in a decent area. Tried for the cutback, but I tell you what, Kiefer Moore's done really well. Because Ashley Barnes was there waiting to direct that goalwards. But it's another corner. Norwich well on top. I'd love a first half Norwich goal. They've gone front post. It's on top of Ledecky strike. Oh, what a strike that was by Sainz on the deck. But it's blocked. He keeps it alive for Norwich though. Norwich definitely looking the more dangerous. There's a ball and a half. It's headed out though. And Chaplin will be the one to chase it. He's just hooked it forward. There's no Ipswich player near it though. And uh, Jack Stacey brings it down and he'll just give it to uh, Gibson, who then gives it to Nunes. Nunes releases the ball. Look at this, last 10 minutes, three shots for Norwich, 66% possession, and that's a lovely ball. And Josh Sargent's turned away from Morsi. He's looking for a foul. He's tried to buy a foul. I don't know how he's got one there. I genuinely... Why ain't he getting a card? I'm sorry. Morsi gets away with murder. 
Never gets a card, that Gadji, you know. I mean, I'm saying that because I don't think it's a foul, by the way. I think I think uh, Sargent's definitely bought it. He was losing the ball and then has hit the deck, so I don't know why I'm asking for a card. I think it's a culmination of 41 games of football. Um, <laughs> but it's, um, it's a set piece. Again, I, I feel it's too central. But Norwich well on top. Come on! Uh, don't forget, folks, we're rolling towards 30k. Hit the subscribe button and give that like button a good old smash, folks. All right, it massively helps the channel. Let's get to 30k before the end of the season. Nunes and Sara, again, both over it. Set piece specialist. Smash a like on the video for a Norwich goal. Here we go. I think Sara's going to be the one again, I reckon. Let's have a look. Strike. Nunes is the one, and Nunes finds the back of the net for Norwich City. The Canaries are one 0 up at Carroll Road, and it is nothing more, nothing more than Delia and her budgies deserve. Get in! Yes! Woo! <laughs> Let's go! And right on the cusp of the goal, Christopher Spofford Chapel has gifted fifty Just Joe Football Show memberships. Get in, Nunes. What a strike that is. I, 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 someone told me you were better than Melier yesterday. Oh, the oh the swerve. The swerve from Nunes. It goes left, it goes right, and it goes in the back of the net. Get the kin. Norwich City, nothing more than they deserve because they have been the better side in this first half. Nunes points to the sky. I point to you. I point to you. Like a flower leans towards the sun. That tune there. Banger that is, by the way. But it says I run to you. But it's irrelevant. Anyway, cross. Headed out. Get the hin. McCallum clears it. Come on. We want to. We want to. Let's have it, man. Get in. Big up to everyone. Make sure you say thank you to Christopher Spofford Chapel for the memberships. He's the Just Your Billionaire. Just Your Billionaire indeed. Right. All Norwich have to do now is just at least stay. Hold. Stay tight. Don't concede before half time. Because Ipswich will have their moments. We know this. We know this, people. I'm not, you know, I'm not deluded. I'm not delusional to the to the to the fact that that Ipswich will have chances. We know this. They are a great side. Um, but you know, Norwich have been the better side. They have been the better side. You cannot deny this fact. You know? You cannot deny it. More of the same, please. Sh throw in to come. It's a big throw, it's headed on, but gun comes out. Catches the ball and then lays on it. Take your time, Angus. Take your time, Angus. I tell you what, though, man. What a free kick that was from Nunes. Both of them. You don't know. Sarah Nunes, they've both got wicked deliveries, wicked strikes. Oh, there's a chance here. Is he in behind? What's the whistle for? Sergeant. I don't know what the whistle was for. I don't know if it was an handball or what. Uh, everyone, big thanks to Chris. What a man, thanks. Yeah, what a man indeed. What a legend he is. Absolute legend of the game, I can't lie. What a strike by Nunes. We've just seen it from behind the goal as well. It's not even taking a deflection. It's just a beauty. Kledaki, it comes off the post as well. Kledaki has zero chance of dealing with that. Ipswich now on the ball, though. Here's Morsi. Morsi turns. That's a good knock. Kiefer Moore has a chance to bring it down. Takes a strike, and it'll go for a corner ball. It's a corner ball to Ipswich. First real attack for Ipswich for quite some time. The, uh, the, the possession of the ball has definitely been with Norwich. They've had a good 10, 15-minute spell, you would argue. Oh, do sorry, I'm just looking at the City game there. Dodgy, dodgy. Keepers have to do like a little uh, back heel there. Will Hughes with a the chance. Ortega. 
Mm. Cross. Terrible cross from Davis. He'll have a second bite of the cherry, though. Pops it up. Out comes Gun. Bang, bang. I shut you down. Bang, bang. I hit the ground. Bang, bang. I, my dad's called Brian. Bang, bang. My name is Angus. Gun, 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 gun. Gun, 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 gun. If you know that tune, it's a banger. Ooh, Edison there picking as a winner in that City game on the bench. Right, here is Ben Gibson. Ben Gibson clips it forward. Looking for Sargent. Ooh, it's just bouncing all over here for a second, but... There we go. Nunes gets his foot on it and gives it back to Angus Gunn. Angus Gunn. Looking for Saints, but it's headed in field by Twan Zabi. Here's Morsi. Morsi into Hutchinson. Hutchinson gets around McCallum, but that's great defending as gain. Nunes, and he, he's got his one a throw. Nunes has been top tier. Top tier performance thus far from Nunes. More of the same, please, my guy. Don't forget to hit those likes as well, folks. We've got 655. Massively helps 100 new members, by the way, on this stream. 100. Christopher Spofford Chapel, you absolute goat. There's Barnes putting himself about winning it in the air. Some good stuff being played here by Ipswich. Hutchinson tries to bring it down, but it's, it's great defending. And that's a foul. Take that. And it's Kenny McLean who's brought down. And uh, with a minute to go till half time. A minute to go till half time. Um, Norwich have a free kick deep inside their own half. It's looking good. Looking good. Joe Amant says you're famous. I don't know about that, Joe Amant. Oh. Delia Smith, where are you? Where are you? Ball sent forward. Headed by... Um, sorry, Duffy McCallum, who's played well today. Oh, it's kept in as well. Well done there from Kenny McLean. Into science. Good football, Norwich. Oh, they've just lost it in the centre of the park. McCallum needs to get back because he is Amari Hutchinson. Amari Hutchinson is just swallowing up that pace, but Sainz gets back to defend. Sainz, you divvy. That's a penalty. That's a penalty, you know. That is a penalty. Boy, your Sainz has just bundled him down. I think that's a penalty, in all honesty. If I'm the ref, I'm giving a pen there. I think that was a bit calamitous defending from Sainz. I can't lie. What do you folks think in the chat there? Is that not a pen? I'd be fuming. You look like you bundled him down. Here's Angus going gun. Duffy there just taking his time. I think they're going to see this. We've got a minute and a half till half time anyway. But under no illusions, Ipswich will have something to say in this fixture. I hope I'm wrong, but they will. But you know me, I'm all about celebrating moments. I celebrate that goal. I'm not going to sit uh, sit on it on the basis that they may score. You've got to celebrate moments, haven't you? That was a moment. But I do feel Ipswich will have something to say. But they've got to score two to win. That's a positive. <laughs> but if anyone can do it this season, it will be them. Probably in the 99th minute. Boy, listen, Norwich, I, d I just hope Wagner doesn't change it because for me, for these 47 minutes of this first half, Norwich have been the better side. So don't change it. More of the same, please, Wagner. David Wagner. Amari Hutchinson, he's he's not not on it, but I don't think Ipswich have been on it. Can't get it under his control. It'll go for a throw 30 seconds till half time. I think that might see us through, you know. Let's hope so. I think looking at it, folks, we're, uh, we're at half time. Mm, yeah, no, nah, it's not a penalty, actually. I'm just watching that Amari Hutchinson one again. Let's have a look. Nah, nah, it's not. It'd be very, very soft. There's half-time, folks. Big up. Big up. It's half-time. Turn that down. Let's see what the chat is saying. Big up. Um, Jade, get your leads 
top on. My name's not Jid. Um, who's Jid? <laughs> 99th minute is a bit early. That's true, Dave. That's that is true. Um, uh, well, according to FPL, he looks like he could be there. So Man United for life's a def. Uh, I'm I'm in Norwich right now. I can hear them all che cheering. Yeah, right. Oh, now I get it. That's Jid. Right, that's Jid. I hear you. <laughs> Um, I think Norwich definitely edged it. I can taste that humble pie already, Joe. If you can accept it already, then we don't need to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did see it. I did see it. Um, yeah, Steve, mental, mental. But I think, like I say, a lot of that is due to due to the way Wagner set him up away from home. I think he was just trying to maybe sneak a point away at Leicester. Um, but definitely at home, they've been by far the better side. You know. Um, we want five. We want five. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get five, but we'll take it. You, we'll, we will take it. Not as of yet, mate. Another forty minutes before we get the uh, official announcement. But um, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Maybe Gruev will be on the bench. Um, that's probably more likely, isn't it, mate? But I hope he starts. Um, we want nine. One says Ipswich Town. <laughs> yeah. Um. One more and Joe's drinking mustard. Yeah, I, I mean, I, uh, uh, <laughs> I'll squeeze a bit in my mouth. I right? drink it, you know. I don't know. Um, uh, okay, so apparently, apparently Gruev trained yesterday. Um, so will have travelled with the squad. So we'll wait and see. Uh, we'll wait and see. No doubt we'll start to hear bits anyway from the from the Leeds press soon. Um, you know, um, saying so and so's here, so and so's here. So we'll start to hear that soon. So hopefully, you know, Gruev um, will have travelled at least, at least. But like people are saying, probably, probably on the bench. Um, get your comments in. Hit the notification bell. Smash the like. Subscribe. We're rolling on down to thirty k. Um, if you could smash the like on it for me, that would be great. Um, so, yeah, if you could do that for me, that, that would be fantastic. Um, uh, I'm just making sure I've got my crew um, for the post-match WrestleMania indeed, mate. Yeah, excited for that. Excited indeed. Excited indeed. Sorry, Andre is asking. <laughs> Groove is in the ha ha. Yes, man, it is. Um, Jamie, you can't be real. I think you're on the wind up. Um, definitely on the wind up. That's one thing they are not. <laughs> They're the most entertaining side in the division, Jamie. Haven't been great today, but um, yeah. Um, job half done, Norwich, exactly. Good afternoon, Jay. Big up to you, my man. I hope you're doing well. Um, crew played for the under-18, so probably not in the squad. Mm, that's a great shout as well. Um, hey, up, mate. My former classmate, Axel, should have been sent off. Axel Twenzebi, there you go. Is he from... South Yorkshire, bro. Um, Norwich forever in shadows of the punch horse. Norwich forever. I don't know what that means, Ziga Zaga. I don't know what that means. Um, Joe, again, greetings from Greece. Greetings, my man. Um, I'm going to work out the Greek for a law. So I can greet you properly. Yeah, yeah, Tom, yeah. Um, I have Anthony, yeah, Christopher Spofford Chapel, 100 new members on this very show. Big up to Christopher Spofford 
Chapel. Uh, if you haven't already, folks, make sure you smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, hit the notification bell. Make sure you check out the sponsors as well for the Just Your Football Show watch alongs. It is a huge Leeds United competition. You can win two Leeds United versus Sunderland or and two Leeds United versus Blackburn hospitality tickets. There are only three games left this season at home. Two of them are Blackburn and Sunderland, obviously the last one being Southampton, okay? Um, so make sure you, you charge. Uh, Zigga Zaga, don't call me a bell, bro. Um, you absolute pipe stain. Otherwise, you will be removed. Um, but what is... what is a, what's a, No, I'm only joking. What's a punch? Why is a punch a horse? Why is that? A, why should I know that? How is it? I mean, you, the comment doesn't make sense, bro. Let me go back one second. Norwich forever in the shadows of the punch horse. I don't know what that means. Am I being dense? I don't know. You're also saying up a town but have a Chelsea badge. Make it make sense, broski. Make it make sense, man. Um, <laughs> my bad, my bad. Uh, bloody dangerous listening to you at work, Joe. Angle grinder in my hand and Norwich score, you scream, yeah. Scream indeed we did because obviously it's good. Um, let's have a look. From Rochdale, lad, not South Yorkshire. Definitely, definitely. Sorry, I forgot, yeah. Um, Suffolk Punch is a large horse. See, I don't know this because I'm not from Suffolk. Um, it means you're doing good, Roms, doesn't it? Looking like Posty Malone. Right, okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, what I was going to say, though, I seen a great little piece from uh, Rhea Ripley the other day, actually, in terms of haters and all that jazz. You love to see it. Um, yeah, so come on, Norwich. Um, Joe YM, you're a fan, bro. Joe YM, you're a fan, bro. Please tell me. I don't know what that means, broski. Can you just rewrite that? Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, come on, Leeds. John in Cork, lifelong Leeds fan, 60 years. Big up to you. Uh, afternoon job up the Norwich. Yeah, yeah, up the Norwich indeed. Um, definitely. Um, no, you don't need to do that, bro. You don't need to do that unless he's been personal. He's, he's fine. You don't need to do that. Um, <laughs> what, what, what are you going to do, mate? What are you going to do? Oh, no, wrong one. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, are you staying up tonight, mate? Uh, definitely will be. Definitely will be. Um, yeah, don't, don't forget to smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Get your comments in. Hit the notification bell and all that jazz, man. It massively helps. You know that. Um... Sorry, I'm just sending a message. Um, Joe haters because he ain't us. Yes, man. Joe's bodyguard's timing people out. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't need to know about that. Um, Joseph, why is your membership package more expensive than Connor's? This would be a perfect time to show your salesman skills. What do you offer? A way to support the channel. That's that's what's on offer for you, muck and off. Um, there you go. Um, there's, I don't have a Patreon either. Um, I don't have a Patreon where you've got to pay for exclusive videos and that everything I do is on here free of charge. So that's probably why it's different, bro. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you don't want to be a member, bro, you don't have to. I've always said this. I've always said this. You don't have to. I think people see it as a way to support the channel. Um, you know, let's say, for example... Look at Good Friday, Easter Monday. I did like a 11-hour shift. I don't know if you get that anywhere else. And I don't mean this, listen, everyone's entitled to, to do what they want, watch what they want, all that sort of stuff. But what I will say um, is I think no one in this space works as hard as your boy. This is it. That's what I say. Um, yeah. Yeah, text this graph, man. Hardest working ginger on YouTube. Now, nah, there's a guy called Angry Ginger, isn't he? He, he works hard, man. I like what you did, though, there, mucking off. That's why I thought I'd address it, because you were trying to, like, set the cat amongst the pigeons and that. So I just thought I'd address it, but there's a lot of love in the chat as well, so big up to you. 
Um, there you go. Yes, let's hope we can be top of the league, Isabella. The point is, yeah. Um, the the point is, I think if they drop, if they lose and we win, boom, we go top of the table, right? Um, yeah, exactly. You, 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's no, no, no shade being thrown. No shade being thrown. That's all. Um, come back, he's coming. Come back, he's coming. Is that Garnacho? Are you a Man United fan or an Ipswich fan? Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Big up to you, man. You don't have to anyway. Um, anyway, it's a choice, isn't it? There's no, there's no thing. Um, you just don't need to if you don't want to. Um, it's not. Where's my Lucas head then? Sorry, I've just asked my daughter to grab my Lucas head, but she said it's not there. But I definitely didn't drink it. It's definitely in the fridge. Hmm. Crew injured the other night. I'm not sure. We'll find out in 30 minutes, though, right? We'll find out in uh, in 30 minutes what it is. Um, big up, Ted. Thank you for that. Um, stay long enough, you might get one from me, said Christopher. Yeah, man, he's the biggest uh, supporter in the game. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, Connor, yeah, um... Yeah, big up, big up to everyone. Anyway, anyway, let's move on. Uh, Eight hundred and three likes. If you haven't already, smash a like on the video for me. My daughter can't find my uh, Lucas aid, so I'm just gonna dip. Uh, just have a quick break and um, get my Lucas aid. So I'll be two minutes there, folks. Yeah, two minutes. She was right, it wasn't. It wasn't in the fridge. I left it in my bike, man. I left it in my bike. There we go. <laughs> what a guy. Fair play, G. I like what you've done there. I like what you did. Uh, Joseph, I liked how even when put under pressure with extremely mild trolling, you stood strong under pressure. There you go. <laughs> big up to you for that, and big up to becoming a member as well. Um, I love that, mate. Thank you. Big up James Cook as well, who's just become a member of the Just Joe Football Show. Big up to you all. Legends, thank you so much. Bro, I did my lesson Thursday. Um... Smashed it, got another lesson Tuesday and Thursday, so I should be driving soon, so I can't lie. Um, yeah, man, do that, innit? Do that. Variety is the spice of life, definitely. Um, no way, loser says, yo, Joe, won't believe it. I've just gone on to the Football Prizes comp, bought two tickets and won the Nonto Away shirt. There you go, legend. Big up to you. Um, no, not bad likes for a non-leads game stream yeah John Morrison big up as well thank you for supporting the channel um, that's that's legend what's George said what have I missed what's he saying here let's have a look for his comment um, <laughs> no you can't now now you remember they can't now they can't um, I can't find his comment it better be good now. Better be good, mate. Um, where is it? Oh, I've missed it. It better. Did you call him Ip Swank? Is that is that what we? Is that what he's getting the praise for? Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on, Norwich. Get another and get the win. Um, 
Oh, Suffolk Punch is the emblem. So he's the horse. See, am I supposed to know? I'm not supposed to know that, am I? Should I know that as a Leeds fan? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, big up. Um, to all my emails on my YouTube account, or my work email, or my... Um, it's on my Twitter page as well. Like, I have a specific one just for the channel. Not like... Like, I have a personal one, obviously, but... That's like the specific one for the channel, mate. Is um, is uh, on it's on YouTube on the home screen, I think. Um, yeah, exactly, Tom. Exactly, I would not know that. So, 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 like now I can say, did you know that that horse is called the Suffolk Punch? Uh, value work, Joe. Contribute a few quid when possible. I know you did, mate. You, you, ba you class. And he said, working class hero. Big <laughs> love that man. Um. Right, anyway, we're ready for the second half. 45 minutes to play. 45 minutes to play. Come on, Norwich, please. Referee's just about to blow his whistle, folks. It's the El Tractico. It's the Old Farm Derby. And the referee has just blown his whistle and Ipswich get us underway. Big up to Dean, who's just become a member of the Just Joe Football Show. Big up to you all. Um, it's the El Tractico, which was the name someone used earlier, which I've stolen there. Uh, I loved it. Do, don't don't forget to smash the like. We've got 861. Let's get 1,000 likes if we can, folks. Remember, straight after this as well, at 2.30ish, um, you'll, uh, you, you'll get your Leeds United versus Coventry watch along as well. The lineup will be out soon as well. Um, so, yeah, big up. Uh, 104 members on this stream. Legends, man. Here is Burgess. I don't know if there's been any changes. I'll just double check on the... I'll just take a look. Because Kieran McKenna will make changes. This is something he doesn't rest on his laurels. He goes for it, right? So, know that. I'm just going to check to see if there has been any changes. No changes. No changes for either side. Same lineups that you can see on your screen here. Um, City, obviously, drawing as well, which would be massive for Arsenal and Liverpool. No changes for in that game. Oh, no, I lie. Ake is coming on, actually. Ake is coming on for Manchester City. Um, I'm not sure who's come off. I think it might be Grealish. Is that Grealish? Maybe. No, Gvardiol. My bad, it's Gvardiol. I did think that would have been strange had Grealish come off, but there you go. Uh, right, OK, we're back underway, folks, as we know. Make sure you check out Football Prizes. Link in the description. Here's Twan Zabi into Morsi. Morsi back to Twan Zabi. Oh, that's not a bad ball, that, from Burgess, but um, Broadhead can't get it under his control. And he is Gibson. Gibson clips it forward. Burgess heads it back. It's a bit like head tennis. Lee Davis heading it, and then McLean. and Sargent's brought it down, tries a 1-2 with, uh, with Ashley Barnes, but um, no go, no go. Here's Morsi. Time to turn. Beats Nunes a little bit too easy, carries the ball, but then loses it out. You can see there the strikers have had the fewest touches. Josh Sargent and Kiefer Moore, both teams. Strikers not really in the game. Same for those behind Barnes, Broadhead, Chaplin, all with the fewest touches in the game. So it shows, sort of shows you how ineffective both strikes have been. Obviously, the goal coming from a lovely strike from a set piece. Um Scottish Leeds fan who's been a member for eight months. Big up to you, mate. He says, don't forget, we will be playing Ipswich time. This is true as well. Although at this moment in time, there hasn't been... At this moment in time, there hasn't been anything for there to be at a time. So if they were to put on 97, 99, I'd be like, right, now now we're calling corruption. Because there's not been any sort of reasons. Oh, chance, Barnes. <sighs> Tries to give it back to Sergeant. Ashley Barnes isn't a 10, is he? Big patch, big patch. Sorry, with the with the uh, member. Big up to you, big patch. That's 105 today. Absolute insane scenes. Thank you so much, everyone. Big up Christopher Spofford Chapel. McCallum does well to win the ball. Um, oh, Sarah brought down by Luongo. No, for it, no, no card because referee referees don't really book them. Uh, if I'm honest, we need. Oh, City have scored. Just seen it. Rico Lewis. I've only just caught that, folks. I'm not sure how it happened, but they're celebrating. So straight away, um, we've uh, we've seen 
the trans lab big up he says i'm adrian i've been supporting you for a while i'm from halifax too thank you for all your passion and insight brother big up to you mate big up to the trans lab as well um do you have any sort of like company or something in in halifax big up to you man my family all are still in halifax and that as well my brothers and my mum and nieces nephews all that sort of stuff so Rico Lewis says, put City in front. It's a decent finish as well, by the way. I think it was actually assisted by Joachim Anderson. So big up to you, mate. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, don't forget, folks, we've got Leeds United game straight after this. Coventry versus Leeds. Poor kick out that. I tell you what, by Hladaki and That's a free kick, is it not, ref? No, you say no. Okay. Rico Lewis with the goal anyway for City. Putting them back in front. Did, didn't take them long. Angus Gunn. Goes long and it'll just go straight through to Hladaki. <laughs> Neighbours fitted a new exhaust to summit big bar. <laughs> He's always working on it. Um, Here's well, one go from deep but gets dispossessed by Duffy. And it's back to Gunn and Gunn will go long. Burgess heads it to Leif Davis. He misses out, though, and uh, Jack Stacey sends it forward for Sargent to chase. Nunes is beaten in the air by Broadhead. Broadhead, it's, it's a little bit scrappy this second half. We've played five minutes, and no one's really got the foot on it. Here's Broadhead taking it away from Nunes, but then Nunes wins it back. He's very, very scrappy. Man City into second. Um, can you hear that? <laughs> Same points as um, Liverpool with the game in. Uh, Liverpool obviously play later on though, so can can increase that gap. Here's Twan Zabi. Liverpool will batter Man United, by the way, tomorrow in the league. I think they will. Can you hear that, folks? Let me know if you can hear that. Probably can't, can you? Proper like um, Chava. Chava. Brum, brum, brum. Anyway, McCallum with the throw. Headed by Twan Zabi. Goes out for another throw, just further up the pitch. They want an ball against um, Joachim Anderson, but no handball ball given. Still 1 0 to Norwich. Where's your fucking packet in, you clown? Sorry. Goes back to Angus Gunn. Angus Gunn going long. Headed by Barnes. Twan Zabi will give it back to Hladaki, though. It's really poor start to the second half, folks. Oh, what's he doing there? Put keeper under well loads of pressure. Chance. Oh, no. Morsi goes back to his keeper. And he's played it so high that Hladaki's just have to put his foot through it. It's a hospital pass. Look at the state of that pass. It's up in the air. Hladaki's hit it, and it falls straight to Sargent, but Sargent's tried to pass it into Barnes, and the pass was terrible. That would have been a, a big error by the captain, uh, Morsi, there, if that had have, um, happened. But here's a throw in. Chaplin takes the throw. It wasn't Chaplin. It was a Hutchinson. Chaplin's then give it to Leif Davis. Leave Davis to Lawongo. Ipswich now on the attack. Lawongo back with Burgess. Ipswich trying to like slow the game down, get a bit of possession of the football now. Because as I say, it started really scrappy this second half. Leave Davis, great knock. It's going to go all the way through to Hutchinson. Hutchinson has a tra chance to run up McCallum, but McCallum, McCallum's played well this game, especially when, oh, Kiefer Moore can't get his head on from the ball from Twan Zabi and Leif Davis will collect it down the left-hand side. Yeah, McCallum was rubbish against um, Leicester, but he's played well in, in this game. Burgess back to Wolfenden, so it's uh, all lip switch at the minute, last couple of minutes. Now the game's calmed down a little bit after initially being scrappy in the first couple of minutes of this second half. Morsi back to Wolfenden. Wolfenden tries to clip it in behind for Hutchinson, but McCallum wins the header, and McLean heads it on to Nunes. Nunes tries to bring it down, or sign, sorry, around Twan Zabi, but Twan Zabi wins it and gives it to Morsi. Morsi's pass to Chaplin's terrible, and it's hit at 
a ferocious pace. He can't bring it into his spell and it'll go for a throw in. Right, so it's a throw into Norwich City. McCallum to take it. I don't even think it's come in. Curse at commentator. I said he's been playing well and it's uh, it's not come on to the pitch. And don't forget as well, folks, if you're new, subscribe. We are rolling towards 30k. So hit the subscribe button and give the like a good old smash. Want to get to 30k uh, by the end of the season if we can. April the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Welcome to the Fark side. So please do support the channel and subscribe. I know a lot of you have become members and super chats and that today. So big up to you all. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Here's Wolfenden. He's asking for people to come to the ball. He's give it to Twan Zabi. Bit of space for Morsi, but decides not to release it. And he'll go back there to Wolfenden. Bit of a heavy touch. Ashley Barnes has won it off of Luongo, but Luongo gets the vital touch. That sends it back to Wolfenden. Norwich almost got in there. Decent pressing from Barnes. Here's Burgess. Ipswich not really being able to, to get up the field, although they've had a lot of the ball. Rico Lewis in between the lines. Tries to give it to Haaland. Headed. Haaland gets round his man. Chance for City. Cut back. Oh, how's he missed? Julian Alvarez should score for City there. Throw in anyway to Norwich. Joachim Anderson's hurt himself, though. Watch him go off here. I need him for that head. Don't know what he's done there. Throwing by McCallum. McLean to Nunes. Nunes tries to flick it up towards Sargent. Chance here, though, for Ipswich. It could open up. Broadhead takes it out to the left. Touch back. Burgess. Davis is offside, yeah. Offside given. Get in. 937 likes, peeps. Come on, let's get it smashed. Get that to 950. Get it to 950, yeah. Davis in a massively offside position. Get that to 950 and then we'll be close to that 1,000 likes. Free kick. Naturally, Norwich are going to take their time. They're going to take their time and so they should. Look at the referee on Angus Gunn straight away. wonder if it'd be the same other way around. He'd be saying to me, come on now, I'm going to yell a card you. We don't see this. Pisses me off. There's Gibson out wide to McCallum. McCallum, there's a run from deep. From Barnes. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, no. It's just wide. It's science. I said Barnes, it wasn't Barnes. I was thinking he was moving too quick for Barnes. Great ball from McCallum. He heads it and then tries to flick it goalwards and it's wide. That's a, that's a chance, that. It's a chance. Yeah. Hladaki came out. He was in no man's land. And Sainz tries to flick it over the keeper, which he manages to do, but it's wide. That was a big chance, that. Could he have squared it, potentially, for a tapping, maybe, for, for Sargent? But it was a lovely ball from McCallum. As I said, McCallum's played really well this game. Here's Jack Stacey. Stacey clips it forward, looking for Sarah. It's it's cleared out, though. But again, Norwich starting to get on top now. We love to see it. Kiefer Moore's not had a good game at all. Maybe struggling with that back stuff. But they've not really got much service up to him. Big head, Ashley Barnes. Love that. Touch from Sainz. Back to Gibson. Gibson to McCallum. McCallum, lovely turn. Love it. McCallum, love it, son. Oh, Science has lost out, though. And Kiefer Moore, terrible touch out of play. It's not looking good, Brav. It's not looking good. Delia's cooking his shite. Come on, Norwich. <laughs> what have a bad word said about a man? Big up, Delia. Nice one for the super chat, Shawnee. Right, subs are starting now. Look, this is what I mean. He will throw it, so you've got... Sami Ento, look, goals and assists by subs, 31, 31, they never say die, so you've got Sami Ento and Clark coming on, so Clark will come on for Twan Zabi, Sami Ento, 
Broadhead or Chaplin, I'd say. Maybe even Hutchinson. Hutchinson's been pretty ineffective. And McCallum's skinning him. McCallum's putting him on toast. He's just brought down McCallum there as well. So I think it could be Hutchinson, if I'm honest. McCallum there, look, touch away from Hutchinson, and Hutchinson gets across and just pulls him down. Probably should get a yellow card for that. Poor referee, and he should get a yellow card there. Because um, McCallum was away for me. Free kick, though. Free kick for Norwich. But there's going to be two changes for Ipswich. And don't be surprised for them to make an impact. I can't lie. Oh, he's done well there. Here's Morsi. Morsi tries to flick it forward. Hutchinson sends it infield, but it's headed by Nunes. Sergeant comes towards the ball. He's ready. It's a hospital pass. Barnes to Sergeant. Sergeant, that's a penalty. How's eh? What is going on? How's he not give up? Here's Jack Stacey with the strike. It's a save. How has he not given a free kick? That is a stone wall as you will ever see. I cannot believe the state of the refereeing, and it was Morsi again. Sergeant's got. How's this not a free kick, peeps? Oh, my. Oh, has he tried to buy it? Has he just stuck his leg out? Let's have a look. Yeah, nah. Do you know what? I'm sorry. Good refereeing. Because what Sergeant's done there is shit, really. You should take it. It's a great ball by Barnes. But he's thought, do you know what? I'm going to buy it. What a tit. Why hasn't he continued with that ball? It's, it's great refereeing. Phenomenal refereeing. Can you explain to me why Sergeant the Clown has decided there, do you know what, I'm just going to put my legs across him and go to the ground. He was on for one goal. Wait for him to make the challenge. Then go down. Don't try engineer the challenge. Or better still, take a shot at goal. Napoleon Dynamite looking freak. What's going on there? Why did he do that? It shouldn't have been a red. It's terrible. Why didn't he shoot? Why didn't he shoot? That's a, <laughs> that's the most stonewall you'll ever see. To yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't have, <laughs> I I don't have the, the 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 luxury of a replay. Now I've seen the replay. Now I know it's not. Come on, man. Real time, real time. People are telling me that Roberts and that are with the squad. Let's have a look. Joe Donahue, Ilya Gruev is with the LUFC squad today. Love it. Connor Roberts as well. Connor Roberts is there and Gruev. Sweet. I'm willing on tour. Surely they're there just for vibes. Surely they're there just for vibes, Roberts and Nonto. If they're in there, that is the most like perfect like Daniel Farker mind games ever. Do you know what I mean? Saka vibes. Anyway, let's get back to this. I'm excited now. We get the lineup in eight minutes. Come on, Gruweva. As Alana would say, the Bulgarian Baruta Ilya Gruyev. Right, here's Burgess. Burgess to Davis Morsi. Leeds United. I didn't say Leeds United looking good. I don't know. It's looking good because Ipswich are losing. That's all I'll say. Do you know what I mean? It's looking good, bruv. Oh, we'll never be lonely again. <laughs> never be lonely again. Ooh. Coventry brick in it, says Phil. I don't know about that. Don't know about that, man. They're a good side. Goes out wide to Sami Ento. I didn't even see who Sami Ento came on for. Let me double check this. Sorry about this, folks. Here is Samiento with the cross, looking for Kiefer Moore. Kiefer Moore gets across his man, but it's a poor header. And it'll go straight into the hands, the hands of Angus Gunn. Um, let me just check the substitutes, who they were for. Uh, Harry Clark came on for Twanzebe and Samiento came on for Broadhead. There you go. Oh. Locks is in the chat. Locks is in the chat, is he? 
Bro, how is that not a foul on Sargent? It wasn't, mate. Sargent's jumped across. If you see it again, it's it's absolutely shocking from Sargent. He should uh, he should take an effort at goal or wait for contact, not try and engineer it. Um, poor, poor from Sargent, in all honesty. At the time, I was screaming. But when you see, oh, Angus Gunn needs to watch the press in a more. He's managed to clear it. It's headed down. There could be a chance here, though. Nunes, oh, is someone offside? Yeah, Sergeant offside. Get him off, man, he's shite. People told me Leeds should sign him. Get him off the pitch. Who have they got on the bench, Norwich? I don't think they've got another striker, have they? Where's Pookie when you need him? He's here. Here's Leif Davis. Davis into Luongo. There's Morsi. Down the line, Davis is in acres. His touch is poor, though. He's still got a cross in his... Cross is terrible. Very good, Davis. Very good. Very good, Davis. Luongo, Davis again. Back to Luongo. Davis, touch away from Stacey. Very good, Davis. Poor pass in. Very good, Davis. Don't forget to smash a like, folks. We're still 12 people away from 1,000. Come on, man. You're slacking. I expect better from you, goats. Smash a like on the video, homie. Morsi, Morsi into Moore, he's going to go out to the right, surely to Hutchinson, decides to come out to the left, he'll continue his run and Davis will be looking for him, and it crosses, looking for Hutchinson, but McCallum wins the header, McCallum heads it up to Sargent, Nunes can't get there from the knockdown and it'll be Burgess and there Harry Clark wants it, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I don't understand why Twan has been starting over Clark, if I'm honest, I write Clark, I really rate Clark, so... I think he's been good this season. I say really rate. That's pushing it a bit too much. But, yeah, um, I think he's been good this season for Ipswich. Luongo. Morsi and then Burgess to the left. But it goes out to Sarmiento. Davis wants it down the line. Davis gets it. It's a cross. Again, poor cross. Very good, Davis. Ashley Barnes. Oh, no, he's give it to Luongo. Luongo. Here's Clark. Clark out to Hutchinson. Hutchinson tries to cut on in his left. He's hit it, but it's a good save by Gunn. Bang, bang, I shut you down. Bang, bang, hit the ground. Bang, bang, I don't call Brian. Bang, bang, my name is Angus Gunn, 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 Gunn. Uh, look at that from... What's he doing there, Sergeant? Look at him here, right? He's just gone, ah, clown. It's really poor, really poor. Oh, he could be in here now, though. Oh, I tell you what, that's great defending from Burgess. Sergeant was almost in there. I don't know what happened because... I don't know what happened because they were showing us a replay. Oh, it's a ball from deep. Sergeant, Sergeant actually beats Burgess... Uh, Wolfenden, sorry, and then Burgess comes round and stops him getting any sort of uh, connection on the ball for a strike. Samiento touch. Goes to Morsi. Here's Wolfenden, Clark... Clark tries to clip it forward for more. The touch from McCallum. Oh, it's gone for a corner. Corner ball. Getting a little bit nervy now. Because Ipswich, I almost feel, are starting to get into the groove a little bit. Three minutes till we hear the Leeds United lineup, folks. Don't forget to smash the like. We've had over a thousand likes. Big up to you all. Thank you for supporting the channel. Oh, Haaland scored for City. Haaland scored for City. Sorry, I missed the goal. Uh, cross comes in. It's headed out for another corner, is it, ref? Goal kick. Goal kick. Nice. Haaland scored. Not sure how the goal came about, but he has scored. Big up. Everyone said he was washed after after he was yeah dropped or whatever, but it's just wild, isn't it? I think he's at Grealish with the assist as well. Let's have a look. They need they miss Grealish, I'm telling you. Goes into De Bruyne, does it? Yep, De Bruyne. Nice. De Bruyne and Haaland connecting. Water is wet. Headed by McCallum. Tries to keep it in. Poor goal kick from Gunn. But it's 3-1 to City now, Paco Mac. That's one thing you did get right. One thing you did get right today, at least. 50% hit rate, which is the same percentage of the delusional Leeds fans, remember? Mm. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, three one, three one to City Harlem with the goal. That's going to help my fantasy team, especially when a lot of these people have captained Foden and he's not even he's not even played. So happy days. So get me some Harlem points. Oh, Kenny McLean, a bit dodgy in the centre of the park, but it goes back to the goalkeeper gun. Don't forget to smash the likes up for me, folks. Over a thousand. Sent down the line for Sergeant, for Ashley Barnes to chase, sorry. Clarks give it away. Nunes, Sergeant, make it true. Less oh, Ipswich, what am I on about? Norwich, Sergeant! Yo, no, it's a great save. Sergeant. Takes it to the right. I say it's a great save. It's a poor shot. I was hoping Nunes had got there. Sergeant has a strike. To be honest, Sladaki shouldn't spill it. But he does spill it. And gives them another bite of the cherry. But it's a throw. Nunes. Nunes. Great feet from Nunes. Davis has won it though. But giving it away. Chance. Corner ball. No, the one goes cleared it. Ah. Norwich. Come on, sons. Big up the Canaries. Big head there. Chaplin. Oh, that's a foul, is it not? They're bringing him down, but Morsi stayed on his feet. It's opened up here. Sarmiento. What a challenge from Jack Stacey. What a challenge. And it's flicked out by Nunes into the path of Sarah. Lovely challenge, Jack Stacey. And Stacey's just done Sarmiento. Sorry, Sarah did Sarmiento. And he's put it out to the left. And there's a chance here. Science. Sergeant, pass the ball. Yes. Oh, no. What a terrible strike from Boyer Sainz. Oh, no. That was the moment, you know. That was the moment to kill this game stone dead. Sergeant does well. Comes in. Little back heeled pass into Sainz. Oh, he's tried to place it. Up there, man. Rocket man. Going to get a sub from Wagner. 20 minutes to go. Norwich playing well. Playing well. Oh, giving away a free kick. Oh, is that De Bruyne again? Oh, oh it is. De Bruyne has scored again. It's 4 1 City. After going 1 0 down, they've absolutely demolished him. De Bruyne has got a goal, two goals, and an assist. They said he were done. They said he were done. <laughs> two goals and an assist. Kevin De Bruyne. Realish back. Back to his best. Control master. Here's Davis. Davis into Chaplin. Chaplin battling, but he's been beaten and Nunes wins it. De Bruyne into... Let's have a look. Yeah, Grealish. Rodret and then De Bruyne. What a finish that is, by the way. And what a challenge that is there by Jack Stacey. And it is a f corner ball to Norwich. What a strike by Kevin De Bruyne, by the way. Two wonders. Love that. First time on his left boot. I don't know why I said it like that. Boot. <laughs> Boof. Outside of the foot. Get that. 4-1 City. Cooking on gas. Kiefer Moore is the man to aim at. And he is a giant. 100th goal for Man City today, Kevin De Bruyne. There you go. Referee's going over to have a word. Chaplin and Burgess. I don't know what's going on there. He's saying, get in there, will you? He's Chaplin. Davis, oh my God. It's not the best ball at all. And I tell you what, Ashley Barnes, he's not the quickest. But he's carrying the ball. Oh, he's still got it. Yes. Oh, he's lost it in the end. Unlucky. <laughs> Ashley Barnes haven't really got that in his locker, has he? But he did well to get him up the field. But he was dispossessed in the end. And now come Ipswich. And it's end-to-end -end now, people. I can't lie to you. It's getting a little bit basketball eh? Because Ipswich are throwing everything at it. A goal now for Norwich kills this. I know it's Ipswich, famous last words. But a goal now, they win the game. Because for me, if I'm Wagner at that point, I'm saying, right, defend. 2-0 up, at home, defend. Get all my strikers off and just put loads of defenders on. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. Maybe that's the wrong tactic, but what we're talking, there's about 15 minutes left if Norwich get a second. Davis. Oh! Chaplin with the strike goes way wide. Yes. 
<laughs> oh man. But for, oh, he has three changes now. Ali Al Hamadi Chaplin's coming off as well. Let's see who the changes are. But this is what they do, man. They don't rest on their laurels. They throw bodies on and he's made a triple change. He's going for it, man. More Luongo and Chaplin off. More's been ineffective. Luongo, decent. Um, Chaplin, though, again, in, ineffective. So on comes Harness, Taylor and Al Hamadi. They have depth, you know. They do have depth, to be fair. One nil Norwich. Fifteen minutes left. Barnes is coming off now, running himself into the ground. Rodri's coming off for City as well. Kovacic and Mateus Nunes coming off, and Julian Alvarez and Rodri off. So Ashley Barnes has come off. Liam Gibbs. Don't know much about him. English player. Liam Gibbs coming on for Ashley Barnes. Well, that's my bet done, isn't it? I had over 1.5 for Chaplin. Right, Angus Gunn, 15 minutes left exact, folks. Norwich 1-0 up against Ipswich. Headed by Harry Clark. Then again by Stacey. To be honest, I'm surprised Amari Hutchinson's still on the pitch. I think he's been poor. He's just given away a free kick as well there. Come on, Norwich, man. Hold on. I'd love to say, like, they've got to score two goals, but it's hip switch, isn't it? They can score two goals in two fucking minutes, in one minute, 30 seconds apiece, you know? We need a second Norwich goal. A second Norwich goal... And, you know, famous last words against this Ipswich side. That's it. You know? Oh, Hladaki dodgy keeping again, almost. Gifts a, gifts a chance to Norwich, but they get away with it again. Oh, well done, Nunes. Nunes. Oh, get him off, man. Josh Sargent's gash. He's gash. I'm sorry, he's gash. People were telling me we should sign him. Admittedly, it was on the back end of bloody Jesse Marsh era, but he's gash. My days. Match that second half, 71% possession for Ipswich. It's not really been of any substance, though. It's felt very scrappy to me. It's felt very scrappy. I don't know who their second choice striker is, though, but yeah. Don't forget to smash the likes up for me, folks. Oh, lineup. Leeds lineup. I forgot, man. I hadn't even checked. Let's have a look. I need to see this Leeds United lineup. 13 minutes left. Sorry, I'm just having a look. So for um, Coventry, it's Collins, Van Uwick, Thomas, Kitchen, Bidwell, Sheaf, Eccles, Palmer, O'Hare, Sims, and Wright. Um, Leeds United, where are we? Come on, I just want to see Gruev. Please, please, please. I'm scrolling down my Twitter feed. I'm scrolling down. Oh, yes! Gruev's in. Gruev's in. Melier, Gray, Furpo, Roden, Ampadu, Gruev. Oh, 13! Nonto's on the bench. Connor Roberts is on the bench. <laughs> Give him, put Kovo in a spliffo. Get in! Today, today could be lovely. Davis, chance wide. Come on, man. Leeds fans, Gruev. Let's go. Gruev starts. Robertson Nonto on the bench. We were told three weeks. Three weeks. You what? You what? You what? You what? Right, chance, hip switch. 12 minutes. It, Davis, cross, headed out. Only as far as Morsi. Morsi comes inside but has to go back to Wolfenden. More with the header. Gun comes out. Gun's not being tested, you know. Gun has not been tested today. Might as well have put his dad in goal. Well, 
Well done. McCallum's played brilliant, and that's another good ball there. Saints, go on. Go on. You've got men over. Sarah tries to play it back through to Saints. Ipswich are throwing everything at it, but it's leaving them open at the back. It's leaving them very open at the back. Open for business. Up the Canaries. Take your time. Take your time, gun. Ten minutes left, you know. <laughs> Ten minutes left. I'm starting to get giddy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't contain the giddiness. Up the Canaries. Oh, Kieran Dyer. Kieran Dyer in the Ipswich end. Came through at Ipswich, right? Maybe he's the good luck mascot. The losing. Meh. This will put Norwich as well. Seven points ahead of Coventry. McCallum's ball. You could see what he was trying to do, but it was wrong. And there's a chance here now for Ipswich back to... Amari Hutchinson. Sami Ento. Sami Ento's playing rugby. You're not up north now. Ten minutes left. Norwich won it. Switch nil. Sami Ento, decent turn, but the effort is woeful. Keep your comments coming in, folks. Crazy numbers. Make sure you smash a like as well. Over a thousand likes on the video. Love to see it. Forward then by Gunn. Headed by Wolfenden. Screams for offside, but Norwich have got possession of the football anyway. Signs brought down. Free kick, ref, no? I think so. Yeah, free kick given. Not been one card in this game, you know. Oh, no, there has, haven't they? Twan Zabi, outside of that, there hasn't. De Bruyne, a massive 18 points, you know. Lords won't have had him in, though, after Foden's performance. They probably subbed him out for Foden, eh? Listen, there's nearly 2,000 people watching for this watch-along, which is insane when it's not concerning my team. So I love to you all, man. I want you all here for the Coventry Leeds game as well. Instant. After this, we go straight on over. You don't have to adjust your TV sets. You just go straight on over. Foul ref. Yes. They're breaking this up lovely, Norwich. They're breaking it up lovely. Look at Kieran McKenna. Do one. Shut up. Shut it. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, big chance there for Palace. I mean, they're not going to get out from the game, are they? Is it a corner ball? No. You know, I want that Joachim Anderson shot, don't I? Eight minutes left, you know. Brought down, but he's kept it alive. Sergeant pops it off. This is good football, Sarah. You see, Sergeant, you've been shit, you see. You won't pass the ball to you anymore. Sami Ento, great, great feet from Sami Ento. He puts it out wide to Hutchinson. He's continued his run. Hutchinson goes in field, though, to Morsi. Norwich need to get back and defend. Goes to Clark. Clark out to... Sami Ento was out on the right-hand side. Amari Hutchinson gets in behind. Well done, Sainz. Sainz gets back and takes the ball away from him and smashes it off of Amari Hutchinson and wins a goal kick for Norwich. And he pumps his fist to the crowd. As do I. Get up. De Bruyne is on the deck. Not sure what for, but he's uh, looking like he's holding his hip. Even Kieran McKenna looks a little bit abject there, you know. Oh, he's been smashed into there. By Wharton, obviously Wharton was at Blackburn, weren't he? Headed, Sergeant, I like that. That's a great header there. Into Nunes, here's Sergeant again. Great pass, run from deep. He's got his beaten one. Eat it! Oh, it's good defending in the end. Great block. Yes, Kenny McLean, does it take a deflection? No, it doesn't. It will be a goal kick. 
Six minutes. And you know what? There's not been enough stoppage. I'm talking like two minutes, three minutes for the subs. Come on. Anything more than that, you know? There shouldn't be no like nine minutes or out like that. I'm telling you. Oh, he's, do he's dodged it. Yes, he's won the ball. He's won the ball. Oh, it goes back to Burgess, back to his keeper, Hledaki. Six minutes left. I can tell I'm nervous because I'm screwing with my uh, with my earring. <laughs> this is massive, though. It is. It's huge. Really, really big for Leeds. Massive. Because we have the opportunity to put it back in our hands now. Clark. It's a great run from deep. Ali Alhamadi. Gone. Oh. Get rid. McLean. Is it offside? Goal kick. Sorry, goal kick. Ali Al Hamadi took it round the keeper gun, but couldn't keep it in. I genuinely thought he was going to lift it over him then. Gun's done really well. Actually, Gun's made a save. Gun's saved it, and Ali Al Hamadi couldn't stop it from going out, so it's actually a goal kick. Gun made a great save because he did go to lift it. Gun came up big and strong and it hit his chest. Well done, Angus. First save he's had to make, really. Five minutes left. Five at Carrow Road. Gun goes long. It's a throw in for Norwich. <sighs> How's the nerves, Leeds fans? 1,100 people watching. Big up to you all. Don't forget to smash a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. Uh, as you can see here, we're rolling towards 30k, so hit that subscribe button and give the like button a good old smash. Please do do that. Throw-ins long. Hledaki comes out and collects it. We're getting into, like, you know, everything in the kitchen sink territory, aren't we? For Ipswich. Ball's behind Davis. Davis back to Burgess. Then Morsi. Please make sure you subscribe if you're new. I can guarantee there'll be a lot of new heads in the chat, so big up. Clark looks to clip it up to Davis. Davis heads it. Chance given away. Sammy Ento beaten to the ball by Gibson. Gibson draws the challenge, and it'll be another free kick to Norwich. Sorry, it was Jack Stacey that got away from his man. Four minutes. Four minutes, peeps. Make sure you all join me for the Leeds United watch along as well. That's instantly live after this, folks. Gun. Just telling them all. Get in field, man. Let's keep it boxed in here. There's Gun. Gun looking to go long. It's headed though by Burgess. Won though by Kenny McLean. Amari Hutchinson can't win it. It's head tennis at the minute. Someone needs to bring it down. Nunes has looking for the runner. Sarah McLean comes round. It's an Ipswich throw. Three minutes of normal time left, people. Mm. Crystal Palace have scored. I think it's Jeffrey Schlupp. Jeffrey Schlupp scored for Crystal Palace. It's 4 2. It's 4 2. Gibson wins the header. Only as far as Morsi, though. McLean just throws a body at it. Ali Alhamedi back to Morsi. Sarmiento. Is this it for Ipswich? Great defending, he's got another bite of the cherry. Get there, great defending. Oh. Love that from the substitute as well. Came on for Ashley Barnes, don't know much about him, but he gets round on the cover to ensure that Ipswich can't level. There's a big chance there, and look at this. He gets round on the cover and clears it. Exceptional defending. Ladaki, you've got two minutes left of normal time. Here's Morsi. Two minutes left. How much added time are we going to get, though? That's the thing. There's the ball clipped forward. It's headed out by Ben Gibson. Nunes flicks it on. Back to Burgess. Here is Morsi. Morsi turns. It goes inside to Hutchinson. It's out wide again. Sami Ento. Stand him up. Stand him up, McCallum. Ball in. Cleared. <laughs> <laughs> Clark tries to keep it alive. Signs battling with him. He's got all the signs. His shirt. Signs has won it off him. That's a free kick to Norwich. That's a free kick to Norwich. What are we doing, ref? He's not give it. I don't know why, but it's cleared by Jack Stacey. Headed by Burgess. Kenny McLean underneath it. Great touch under pressure. Wins a free kick. 
back. One minute of normal time, people. One minute. <laughs> Look at the Ipswich fans. The nerves. The nerves are jingle jangling. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Do you know what I mean? Listen, folks, smash a like. Let's get to 2K live viewers if we can. We're less than 30 people away, just 29. We'll get there by you smashing a like. So if you haven't already, smash a like for me. We're in the final minute, by the way, folks. Gun with the free kick. It goes long. It's gone out, though, for a throw-in. 30 seconds left of normal time. How much added time are we going to get? <sighs> There's Clark, goes back to Wolfenden. Wolfenden switches it out to Burgess. Burgess then to Leif Davis. Very bad, Leif Davis, please. Not oh, very good in our case. 20 seconds left of normal time. Still no sign of the added time. Substitution incoming for Norwich as well. Trying to play down that clock. Here's Ali Alhamadi. Cuts in on his right instead of giving it to Davis. Basically throwing everything out of here, Ipswich. We're in the 90th minute, folks. How much added time? Five! Where are you five? Where's five from? Why five? Where's five? I don't remember any stoppages. Do you get five for all the subs? I'm not sure. I think that's bleak. They're going to score, aren't they? You just know it. I know it. I know it. Five minutes, they're going to score. Oh, fuck's sake. Can't be dealing with this, but folks... Wolfenden out to Clark. Clark puts one in the box. It's headed. It's dropped down. Oh, God. Davis. Burgess back to Davis. Goes there to Wolfenden, who's on the edge. Yeah, let the centre back hit it. Oh, he's played it into Hutchinson. McCallum made a challenge. Hutchinson, great block by Saint. No. Ben Gibson, big up. T, T, T Sider, Ben Gibson, over 2,000 people watching. Big up to you all. McCallum with the challenge. A change coming here for Norwich. Love that. Roll down the clock, man. Roll down the clock, baby. Boy, your science. Great performance. Well done. Well done, science. On comes Danny Bat. Danny Bat, centre back, formerly of Stoke and Middlesbrough. Put him in there. This is the right tactic, Wagner, at this stage. Centre-back's on. At this stage, just defend. Defend. Big throwing coming. In it comes. Can't beat first man, though, and it's headed out, I think, by Danny Bat. That's what you bring him on for. It's going back to the keeper here, Hladaki. Hladaki's playing on halfway. Sargent went to press him. Kenny McLean's gone to press as well. The ball's been flicked forward. It's headed though. McCallum has a chance to bring it down. He just puts it into touch though. Three minutes left of the added time and it's a throw in for Ipswich in the final third. Harry Clark takes the throw. Amari Hutchinson back to Harry Clark who has to reset and go again. Wolfenden. Here's Morsi, the captain. Morsi out wide to Sarmiento. Inside to Clark. Clark will look to deliver, surely. Decides against it. Tries to get round McCallum. McCallum's had a great game. You shall not pass today. There's the ball in from Clark. Out comes Gunn. Fall to the floor. Fall to the floor, my guy. Two and a half minutes left. Two and a half minutes left. I dare, dare I say it? I will say it. Has it switch? Look. Finally run out. Against their arch enemy. Please, this stings. This stings. The tractor boys. The Suffolk pony or whatever he was called. Oh, Nunes with the shocking slice. Amari Hutchinson. Oh, it's a great ball. Ali Alhamadeh. No. No free kick. I can't believe he's not being given, you know. Ali Alhamadeh chests it away from Ben Gibson. And Ben Gibson... It looks like six or one half a dozen at other, but you can you know what Ben Gibson's doing. He's saying, you're not getting past me here. He was, but Ben Gibson said no, and the referees also said no, which I'm surprised at, because I think it's a great touch by um, by Ali Alhamidi. Chess out of his, you know, to get onto it. Maybe Gunn gets there, but listen, we've got a minute and 30 seconds left. It's sent forward. Hladaki's going to get there. We're getting into do-or-die territory. Morsi turns McLean. Morsi out wide to Leif Davis. 
Leif Davis looking to put it into the channel, but that's going to be easy for Duffy to deal with. But he has put it into touch, but we're on the 94th minute. The 94th minute. One minute left of added time. Has Ipswich luck run out against their most bitterest of rivals? Let's hope so. Switched out. McCallum wins it. McCallum's been put on the deck in the process and won a free kick. And just for, to put it out there, McCallum's been my man of the match. I think he's been phenomenal. Norwich fans, they'll be buzzing because they might halt Ipswich. Do you know what I mean? 30 seconds, and it's a free kick to Norwich. Look at the Norwich fans, they're buzzing, man. I don't blame them. What's this going to be now? 16 years since they've beaten them. Where are you, the doubters? Where are you? <laughs> Acknowledge me. Gun. Ten seconds. Blow that whistle, ref. A free kick given to Ipswich. Foul on Clark by Sergeant. It's now in the 95th minute. This is it, people. This is it. Will they get one more chance? Hladaki, I'm just watching the ref here. Headed out. Get there. Stop it. Oh, it's a throw into Ipswich. Halfway in the Norwich half. Oh, one of the fans has just thrown the ball away. Silly that. Silly. Davis, big throw. Headed on. What's been... Oh, he's, he's been asked to take it again. I shit myself then. I thought Angus Gunn had totally misread it. He's been asked to take it again. Leif Davis, big throw coming. This has got to be it now. Leif Davis, big throw. In comes the throw. It's headed out. Yes! Norwich have won! Norwich City have won! An absolute wonder free kick in the first half by Nunes has put the halts, has put the brakes, has put the brakes on Ipswich's chances. Come on! The El Tractico goes to Norwich City. The Old Farm Derby once again goes to Norwich City. This is massive. This is huge. They drew with Ipswich. Norwich and Ipswich drew at, Carrow, at Portman Road, but at Carroll Road, where they haven't won for 15 years, Norwich have picked up another three points. Dara Deshi says, get in Norwich, because this is massive for Leicester. This is massive for Leeds United. If Leeds United win, guess what? They sit top of the table. It won't be easy, though. It will not be easy, because we have got to go to Coventry City, who are a very good team. But we have our best team back now. Gruev. Gruev, yeah? Gruev in the centre of the park. The fulcrum. The fulcrum. Yeah, El Tractico, is, yeah, same, same. Big up to my man that said it. And also, the uh, the on the bench, Nonto Roberts, massive day. Massive day. A point wouldn't be. You're right, Vic, but the way I'm feeling now, the way I've seen that Leeds United line up, acknowledge me, we're going to win. Yeah, we're going to win. A point takes us top, but a point isn't enough. Will not be enough. Because the bloodline is here. Leeds United are the bloodline. We are Roman Reigns. Yeah? Come on. Let's go! <laughs> Let's create a gap. Let, this is the toughest test we've got left. If we can come through this toughest test, calma tranquilo. That's all I'll say. Listen, I'm so happy. Like you, more than you can believe. More than you can believe. This is a huge, huge result. In the race for the auto spots. Norwich City, you absolute dancers. Big up the mustard, yeah? Coleman's. I did say two clear goals, so I'll stick by that. I don't have to put that in my moot. But big up the Coleman's mustard. That was the good luck, yeah? That was the good luck. Tim says we can't... Oh, God. Daniel Farker, that's not a good sign. I need to put that up. This is not a good sign. Do this. No. Stop it, Daniel. Oh, 
it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, yes, man. Yes, they can and thing and will. Darren, you said we would get beat. Come on. Believe, my brother. Believe, yeah? That's all we need to do now. Leeds need to win. Must win. Must win, need to win, must win. You know? This is this is the truth. What a, what a game. What a watch along. Big up to everyone for the support. You know how much it means. I'm going to be going live now on the Leeds versus Coventry watch along, okay? So, so you don't need to adjust your TV sets. You don't need to adjust your phone, your YouTube, your laptops, because as soon as this finishes, you'll go straight on over to the other. We've got 2,000 people. I want to see you 2,000 people straight away over there smashing them likes up, okay? So please do do that for me, because that is live now as we speak. So I'm going to end this now. You're going to go straight on over there and Leeds United, yeah? Leeds United are going to beat Coventry City. Alhamdulillah, inshallah. Let's go. Come on, Leeds!